I can't believe you fired Sal! Of course I did, you conniving banshee! I can't have my food prepared by a ten-stone cockroach! Ugh. We're closed! You better tell them that! what horrible truths lurk behind the tinted windows of our neighbors' souls. Our intrepid heroes certainly don't. They're just relieved to find a safe harbor from the half-naked horde that has pursued them since their stirring defeat of the mad pharaoh Samunmak. But soon, you and the freelance police will be forced to throw open the creaking shutters and clumsily draw back the moldy curtains to reveal the awful secrets that lie beyond the Alley of the Dolls. So, after I put Max's brain back in his body, we were suddenly beset by scads of brain-dead Samuelacra. I prefer doggle-gangers! We thought all they wanted was that spooky toy box, but after they yanked it away, they turned their attention on us. <laughs> Actually, I think they were mostly interested in me. No? No? We ran for the DeSoto, but it had been surrounded by a gang of me's. Naturally, you came here. Well, better to stock up on canned foods and ammo for the upcoming zombie Sam Armageddon. I don't think they're zombies, Max. Zombies, clones, robots, who cares? Just as long as I get the shakes! Looks like it's time to boil the haggis. Happiness is a warm gun. My gun is always warm. And a little bit moist. Stinky. Oh good, it's the Harbinger of Doom. I see that you and Grandpa Stinky have reached the plate throwing phase of your relationship. Oh, that? That was nothing. Grandpa just fired my Sal, uh, chef, without consulting me first. I was slightly annoyed. Wouldn't be. But you know what they say, there's nothing like being attacked by an army of portly abominations to give you a sense of perspective. Do people really say that? Why did Grandpa fire Sal anyway? That's a private matter between me and Grandpa, for the moment. What do you think the deal is with all these dangerously handsome Samuel Acker? 
doppelgangers. Hmm, I'd guess clones. Really? Or maybe parallel universe commandos, or pastry golems, or maybe I don't really care since it's not really my job to figure this kind of thing out. I'm sorry I broke your boyfriend. Boyfriend? What boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. You know, General Skunk Ape. You two seem to be getting along pretty well before Max and I kicked him into the penal zone. Skoon Cape? He's not my boyfriend. I mean, just look at him. I got a wacky idea. Why don't you help us fight off the Sams? Your personality alone could probably take out a dozen of them in one blow. For your information, I'm trying to text the authorities for some help. Right. Any luck texting the authorities? None yet, but I'll be sure to let you know if I make a breakthrough. You do that. Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. Well, let's see if we can cheer up this terrifying attack with a random selection from Stinky's Hot Wax Dispenser. You are aware that there's no actual records, CDs, or wax cylinders in there, right? It's amazing how animals always know to flee before a catastrophe. Well, they fled all right. Right into Stinky's Good Friday Gumbo! Mm -hmm. These barrels would make great door jams, or weapons if they weren't bolted to the floor. That's nice. Grandpa Stinky finally put that autographed photo of us up on his... Hey, you tore us out of the picture! Of course I did. I just wanted the picture of your sweet, sweet car! I've learned from bitter experience never to drink anything that comes from Stinky's taps, especially the bitters. Hey, Donkey Wong, want to pitch in and help us repel the hordes? No, no, no. <laughs> what happened to General Skunkape? Sam happened! According to Max, I beat the bananas out of him in an alternate reality, which has left him a humiliated husk of a man, or ape. Don't hurt me. Of course, being chased by hundreds of half-dressed versions of the new alpha male in town can't be helping either. Individually wrapped balls of peanut butter? Aye. Ever since Mrs. Dulagi went up like a pufferfish, my namby-pamby malpractice attorneys have forced me to dole out my peanut butter in strictly controlled portions. I didn't even know diners could have malpractice attorneys. Uh, hey, Skunk Ape, any chance of you moving out of the way so I can open that freezer? No, no, no. <laughs> God, what a negative Nelly! This probably isn't the best time to make some toast. But what the hey? Yikes! Guess I won't be making any toast for a while. <sighs> I remember when I was a toaster. Robbing Stinkies would be wrong. Yeah, we should wait until Friday night before they've cleared out the till. Look, it's the button that opens the secret tunnel into the sewers. Less talky, more pressy, Sam! I've just about run out of amusing ways to shoot you in the face! Open hickory. Hey, Stinkies! What happened to your secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you see the way that one fell? <laughs> Hilarious! Hey, good idea! Maybe we can turn this horrific siege into some sort of half-assed, rhythm-based minigame. We repeat, half-naked, portly dog-like creatures are running amok. Details at this time remain sketchy, but we have numerous reports that the Zoftig canines are breaking into people's houses and stealing their children's toys. Well, that'll put some kids in therapy, right, Chet? No! Whoa, he's off, big fella. I'm pretty upset about the Zoftig crack, too, but that's no reason to go ape. Smooth, Sam. This infernal city stripped me of my power and my dignity. But I'll be a Polarian baboots before I let them have the last of my toys! Hey, the monkey's gonna do a card trick! 
I don't think so, Max. Those look like the mind-reading cards we saw in that chilling vision of the future that never happened. Oh, yeah! Jimmy! Give them to you? Hardly. With these cards, I will escape this gorilla-forsaken rock, blast it from orbit, and then move on toys. to conquer the rest of the entire galaxy! Toys, toys, no, toys. No. Wow, that was horrible. Maybe we should have done something. Ah, he'll be okay. Now let's start reading some minds so we can get out of this mess. Jiggle like that? Nah, your arms have a charming water balloon look. These guys are strictly turkey waddle territory. Max, I... No time for clue-laden banter now, Sam. If we're gonna get out of this alive, I've got no choice but to repeatedly blow your brains out with bullets! Either that table's a lot sturdier than it looks, or my lookalikes really need to work on their upper body strength. Even if I did have any of the obscure currency used by Grandpa Stinky's phone, the lines are all jammed by panicked citizens. Ah! Grandpa Stinky? Do you mind? You're spoiling my aim! What do you think this unprecedented wave of me is all about? Who cares? I haven't had this much fun in years! Need any help? Nah, I've been dreaming about this day for years. Oh, right in the moose. We couldn't help but notice the girl Stinky started flinging plates at your head. What did she think I was going to do when I discovered that she'd hired a giant cockroach to run my beautiful kitchen? Well, your tolerance for cockroaches is well known, so I'm sure she probably thought... Tiny cockroaches! As customers, not six and a half foot tall monstrosities lumbering about my kitchen, dipping their mandibles in the mayonnaise, and spreading their disease on my crudités. Crudités? Where? And what are those? Mark my words. Ken or no Ken, that woman's up to no good. I'll just get back to finding a way out of this mess. Take your time. I'm having a ball. Grandpa Stinky? Do you mind? You're spoiling my aim. What happened to your secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? You know, the one under that table over there. If I had a secret tunnel, don't you think I would have used it by now? Good point. You sure you don't know anything about a secret tunnel? I could swear you were around when we found it a couple of days ago. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll just get back to finding a way out of this mess. Take your time, I'm having a ball. I've got to go try this puppy out on some doggies. Uh... You heard me, Mr. S is... Sometimes I wish your future visions were a little more expansive, Max. Can you read my mind? Do you know all the things I'm thinking of? When this is over, my so-called granddaughter and I are going to have a wee talk. When Wilfred and Brimley aren't looking, I'll escape through my backup tunnel. A backup tunnel? Ingenious. Really? I was gonna go with paranoid or maybe silly. Stinky? What? Okay, Stinky. Where's your backup secret tunnel? What? 
You heard me. The backup tunnel. I don't know anything about a backup tunnel. Come on, Stinky. Tell us where your backup tunnel is before Max runs out of bullets. I never run out of bullets! I told you I don't know anything about a tunnel. Why do you keep looking over there? Looking over where? Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. I don't know how Blah Blah and Buzz Buzz found out about my backup tunnel, but they'll never figure out that setting the toaster to incinerate will open it. <laughs> Those cards have peeled open Stinky's mind like a snarky, lazy onion. Stinky? What? Well, I can see you're busy. Hey. I don't think I'll be using that toaster until I get rid of some of those Sams. Couldn't you just give him a chew toy or something? Very funny, Limp Brain. I'm not usually this grabby. Anyone got some darts? I'm gonna try something. Yeah, it's got peanut butter dog mouth. I hate it when I do that. Fudgy Freeze, the greatest combination of ice cream, fudge, and carob balls this side of the Mississippi. Must resist fudge. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Sam? Sorry, Max. You know how I get whenever I get a Fudgy Freeze in my hand. A barbarian indiscriminately smears peanut butter all over things. Only a barbarian indiscriminately. Yeah, it's got peanut butter dog mouth. I hate it when I do that. Come on, you flabby kids. Come get a whiff of what the stink is cooking. I think I'll be using that toaster until I get rid of some of those sands. Couldn't you just give him a chew toy or something? Very funny, Limp Brain. It's a lit property rat. I hope you guys love these as much as I do. Crocker's Nickers, have you been tuned to my diner? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had just about all I can stand, you indolent wink of DNA! Say, you two wouldn't mind holding the fort while we go check out Stinky Secret Passage, would you? Indolent? Who do you think keeps this diner afloat, old man? Great, thanks!
I sure hope the Stinkies are able to work out their issues. Not me! Watching them argue is like dinner theater, only without the... Sweet mother of Watson and Crick gallivanting with Rosalind Franklin on a spiral staircase! Max? Yeah? I think we found the source of the Samulacra. Doggle-gangers. Whatever. Clone complete. What the heck is Girl Stinky doing down here? Toys, toys, toys! That's strange. Hey, little buddy. That sizest, Sam. I wonder who's behind these Samulacrums. Doggle-gangers. You don't think Skunk Ape had anything to do with all these Sams, do you? Well, the whole scantily clad marauders searching for psychic toys thing sure sounds like him. Yeah. But where would he have found the time? I wonder who's behind these Samulacrums. Doggle-gangers. You think Paperweight's got anything to do with these Sams? I don't know. Why don't we ask him? With extreme prejudice. I wonder who's doggled. Even though they came from her secret tunnel, it's hard to believe that Stinky could be behind all these Sams. You don't think she's evil enough? Oh, she's got evil and spades. I just can't picture her going through all the effort. Any side effects from your recent debraining and subsequent body napping by a crazed Egyptian tyrant? Nope. Still lovable and teeming with unexplained psychic powers. You know, if late-night movies are any indication, your blossoming psychic powers are due to become a threat to all humanity any day now. Don't be such a worrywart, Sam. If it makes you feel any better, I promise to take you with me when I merge with the Godhead. I'm thinking of a number between... Potato! That's uncanny. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into the Devil yet, since it's his toy box that keeps getting us into trouble. I bet his agent's holding out for more money. I'm feeling a little lost. Let's find out who's behind all these doggle-gangers! What should we do now? Let's find out who's be- What sort of fiend sends an army of half-naked, staggeringly handsome Samalikes out into the city to steal toys? A kinky, bizarro Santa Claus? I hope the cops are okay. Those Sam clones were really tearing into them. Eh, they'll be fine. If decades of obsolescence couldn't kill them, nothing will! Unfortunately. You've got something in your eye. I know. I put it there for safekeeping. I love the way the city looks at night. Yeah. It's a pity we can't go out without being attacked. Keep it real, little bunny. That's not really my forte, Sam. Is that... A coffee mug? Yes, and unless my rarely utilized razor-sharp senses are wrong, it's full of... herbal tea! Ugh, what kind of laid-back monster sips soothing tea from faraway places while commanding armies of Sam clones? There's probably a way to make this microphone work for us, but how? I don't know what that is, but it must be important. How can you tell? It's in the middle of the room. 
Diabolical masterminds always put their important stuff in the middle of the room. I wonder what that glowing hand does. You have what you want. Now give them the air. Property of Hoover Dam. The ghost of J. Edgar Hoover is raising an unholy army of sexually provocative sand clones! Good theory. Wrong Hoover. Clone facility systems nominal. Awaiting further instructions. I bet those tubes filled with slimy, viscous liquid carry DNA samples to all the cloning pods. Ah, so that's how babies are made. You were right, Sam. It is icky expensive and mechanical. Clone cooker DNA input receptacle. Whoa! Yikes! Looks like our mysterious clone master doesn't want anyone messing with their cloning recipe. We're not getting anywhere near that clone cooker DNA receptacle until we get rid of those tentacles. In the Neat! Unexplained wriggly things! Don't get too close, Max. They may look silly, but those tentacles are oozing with painful eldritch magics. That must be serious. You almost never use magics with a K. Paperweight conjured a bunch of these things back at the museum. He must be involved somehow. These microwaves aren't working. Some Nimrod probably blew the fuse when he tried to zap his leftover casserole and cup o bisque in two different microwaves at the same time. We're in the middle of an energy crisis, people! Nice kitchen ad. You gotta love a mastermind who keeps the coffee flowing. Max, look! Bosco Tech Clone Pod. This clone pod was manufactured by Mama Bosco. You probably should have guessed by the hot pants they're wearing. Mama sure does love a nicely turned Sam Gam. If Mama Bosco's the one controlling these clones, she's got a lot of explaining to do. Cloning facility status. Huh. You'd think a multi-bazillion dollar facility like this could afford something a little snazzier than a chintzy scrolly sign. What is it? A fog machine? A rubber costume? Some more AB equipment like we found back in the subway? Freaky. Anything useful? Nope. Now have I wonder what's down this tunnel. There's only five or six ways to find out. Well, let's take the one that doesn't involve explosives or time travel. Spoil sport. Well, here we are, back in the Museum of Mostly Natural History. And look, Paperweight's office. Maybe he can tell us what's going on with all these Sams. Hmm, a trash can. My psychic clue sense is tingling. You know I can't stand looking at you when you dig through garbage. No time to indulge your delicate sensibilities, Sam. Look! What is it? Hey, 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 I just find the clues. And besides, I seem to have temporarily lost my ability to read. A disturbing side effect of your psychic abilities? Nah, I just can't be bothered. It's a letter from our old pal Sal, resigning from his job at the museum. Should a six-foot-tall cockroach really be putting himself out on the job market in this economy? Maybe we should ask him. He left a forwarding number. Sweet! It's a standard security panel, tricked out with hieroglyphics instead of numbers. I wonder what the key code is. Rats! I thought for sure it would spell out King Butt! I think Monsieur Paperweight's key code is gonna be a little more sophisticated than that, Max. You mean more like Emperor Gluteus Maximus? No, I mean more like something we'll never, ever guess. Ever. Max! Coworker! 
Okay, I'm stumped. Any advice? I'd like to meet that Norrington guy who kept shouting in my head when I was a disembodied brain. Keep your eyes peeled, Max. Oh, that's really disgusting, Sam. It's locked. Yeah, but at least there aren't a bicycle of Eldritch tentacles guarding it anymore. I don't think bicycle is the group word for tentacles, Max. Just a minor. Wait, you fool! Oh, sorry. Oh, it's you. We've got some questions. Dr. Norrington and I could not give three rotten figs for your questions. We've got important work to do. Good day. I said good day, sir. Well, I never. Look, Max. Free health, ammo, cupcakes, clues, and enlightenment. Oh, wait. It's empty. Extra virgin protein fluid. They're empty. <laughs> yeah, that's what... Uh, as the bishop once... You know what? Sub I got nothing. Check it out, Max. Cart tracks. Maybe there's gold at the end of this tunnel. Or rare deposits of Camp Gideon. You're a strange little imp, Max. Uh, are we there yet? We've been walking for nearly a decameter. I love your wacky made-up units of measurement, Max. I... Wait a minute. There's a light up ahead. Bosco Tech? Shh. Something weird is going on. Weird by our standards or everyone else's? Mr. Molman, please concentrate. Without your assistance, we'll never be able to contact Dr. Mama Bosco. No, we won't. You don't know what you're doing. Gyroscopic inhibitor. I wonder if we'll ever find out what Mama Bosco's dimensional destabilizer does. It's a device used to coerce a transient resonant integration pattern of the subquantum harmonic vibrational frequencies between this and adjoining dimensional membranes. I wonder if we'll ever find out what this dimensional destabilizer does. I hope it makes pie! Whee! Oh, this is rich! You think that you have the spiritual chops to summon Mama Bosco? Hey, Sam's got more spiritualism in his pinky than the love child of the Dalai Lama and Mother Teresa. Actually, I don't think I have a pinky finger, Max. Let's begin, sirs. Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong! Perhaps we should concentrate on the task at hand. Ghoul the spirits have moved on. Sure they have. I knew you couldn't talk to the dead. Better luck next time, sirs. Wow, they're right. The camera really does add 10 pounds. So those clones have, what, five or six cameras on them? Science! Super Bowl! Mr. President, you're alive. I'm overjoyed. I can tell. Do you know anything about these Samulacra? Doggle-gangers! According to the authorities, they're fanning out across the city in search of the remaining toys of power. Remaining? Yes, sirs. In the aftermath of the Salmon Mock incident, our crypto-scientists estimate that there are only a few hundred T.O.P.s extant, and they're scattered throughout the city. What will happen once the Sam clones gather all the toys? Nobody knows. A few experts believe that the person who created the clones will use the fully empowered Devil's Toy Box to psychically bring about a golden age of unity and harmony. That'd be an unexpected twist. 
but most of them concur that we'll likely be facing some sort of universal Armageddon scenario in which a horrific beast of unimaginable power reigns over the Earth and the living envy the dead. A seance? That's not exactly in your bailiwick now, is it? Okay, I'm just gonna stand right over here until I can shake off the memory of you saying bailiwick. You are sadly correct, sir. As a medium, I'm more of an extra small. But it's desperately important that we make contact with the missing Dr. Mama Bosco. Why? I would think it's obvious, sir. The Sam clones. Her hands are all over them. Ew. Figuratively, sir. Oh, that's better. Are you going to take another shot at summoning Dr. Mama Bosco? Actually, sirs, I was thinking of leaving it to someone who specializes in weirdness. Larry King is here? I think he was talking about us. Oh. What are you doing here? Yeah, why aren't you back at the White House keeping that backstabbing Secretary of Health and Human Services away from my Cuban cigars? I'm here to investigate the rampaging Sam clones and their possible connection to the so-called Devil's Toy Box, sirs. What a coinkydink! So are we! Yes, sirs. Quite the coinkydink. Hey, if you're here and I'm here, who's running the country right now? I've taken the liberty of installing an amusing bobblehead figurine in the Oval Office. No one seems to have noticed. What happened to Mama Bosco? I'm not certain, sirs. I came here to investigate reports of illegal cloning activity, only to find Dr. Mama Bosco missing. I'm conducting a seance to bring her in for questioning. Stay loose, Super Bowl. I always do, sirs. Harry, you're alive. Don't sound so disappointed. Ah, oh, don't be that way, Harry. You cheated me out of millions of dollars and trapped me in a killer sauna. How should I be? Sadder but wiser? What's with the seance? Super Dense over there wants to summon Dr. Bosco back to the lab for questioning, but he doesn't know what he's doing. How so? It's so obvious that he can't make contact with the spirit realms. I mean, he can't even get in touch with my recently deceased relatives. Why don't you tell us about those recently departed relatives? Sorry, Sam. The memories too fresh. Fair enough. How'd you get out of Skunk Ape's ship? I'm glad you asked. My incredible adventure began when I discovered a small crack in the back of my cell. Uh, second thought, never mind. What do you know about these scary toy-stealing Sams? Nothing! You sure you want to stick with that answer? Yeah, isn't that your tunnel that connects directly to the big old cloning facility? That old thing? I haven't been down there in months. After Mama Bosco started using it to store crate loads of high-tech equipment, it kind of lost its rustic charm. Think he's telling the truth? Probably. Harry doesn't have the brains, brawn, or all-around competence to pull off a scheme like this. <clears throat> you know, I am standing right here. What sorts of high-tech equipment was Mama Bosco storing in your hole? How should I know? She never tells me anything. What happened to Mama Bosco? I don't know. When I returned to the lab after my harrowing adventures on Skunkapi's ship, she was acting... Um, strange. Strange? Yes. She was distracted and wafted about the facility with an agitated nervousness that one would normally associate with a guilty conscience. You got all that from the way she was wafting? Well, that, and she gasped, Oh no, it's all my fault, before she floated out of the building. No one's seen her since. So, you don't know where Mama Bosco is? Not a clue. That's why we're trying to hold a seance, to compel her to return. Hang in there, Harry. Do I have a choice? Father, will you please tell this booze-soaked gumshoe to get out of our diner? Just answer the man's questions, so I can get on with my pathetic excuse for a life. Hey, Flint, what's shaking? Hiya, boys! Just putting the finishing touches on this whole girl stinky caper. Really? Well, no. 
but Grandpa Stinky's gonna stop paying me if I don't wrap this case up tonight, so I'm kind of winging it here. I've had you on retainer for months, and you didn't even know she'd installed nay one, but two secret tunnels under my diner! Mind if we kibitz in your interrogation? Be my guess, boys. I'm hitting a brick wall with Miss Motormouth here. See? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah! Who's this Mr. S-Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? That kind of talk makes Mr. Shoe angry, sister. Um, Stinky didn't say anything, Sam. See what I'm working with here? Maybe she doesn't know how these hard-boiled interrogations are supposed to work. I think you're right, Max. Let's show her how it's done. I'll be Flint, and you'll be Stinky. Fine, but if I get typecast, you're getting a nasty call from my agent. All right, sister. What's the deal with all your secret tunnels? Secret tunnels? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Stinky was lying. What else could she do? We all have our own secret cloning facilities at the end of our secret tunnels. The ones we don't want anyone to know about. Cloning facility? What are you talking about? No, 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 that's his line! Come on, Stinky. Don't pretend you don't know anything about the massive Sam cooking machines we found at the end of your secret tunnel. Get out of my way! Not so fast, Dollface. You're not going anywhere until you answer some questions. Fine. Fire away. Anything to get me out of this madhouse. Okay, then. From the top. Who's this Mr. S bug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Mr. S is Sam. We were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. What the what now? You heard me. Mr. S is Sam. The two of us were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Uh... You lousy liar. My birthday isn't for another five months. That's why it was going to be such a surprise. Is this true, Sam? Uh, it, it sure is. She'd already ordered your favorite cake. I did. Oh, I mean, that's right, I did! A cake, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you and Sam can cough up my favorite cake, I'll send Mr. Paper home. Until then, you're not going anywhere, granddaughter. I can't believe you and Stinky were planning a party and you didn't ask me to help! I love licking envelopes and cooking up embarrassing party games! Don't be a dolt, Max. This whole party thing is just another brick in Stinky's mountain of lies. But if we cover for her, maybe Flint will let her go, and she can lead us to her mysterious Mr. S and the mastermind behind these rakishly handsome Sam clones. Sounds convoluted and absurd. I like it. All we have to do now is find Grandpa Stinky's favorite cake. Hey, Flint. I can't grab now, Sam. I gotta keep my peepers on Miss Congeniality here, in case she tries to make another break for it. Meet me at the place. No, the other place. Ooh, I've got to go try this puppy out on some doggies. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe I need Flomo and the Bean to get me out of here. And I can't believe that Stinky keeps coming up with insulting nicknames for us in her head! A party? <laughs> a likely story. Still, it'd be nice to get a slice of upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise. Stinky? Yes. Where and when can we pick up that cake for the party? Um, Sal said he'd have it done by today. Do you remember where we put that present for Grandpa Stinky? I thought you said you were hiding it someplace where no one but you could find it. 
I did. I mean, yeah, that's right. Hang in there, Stinky. We'll have you out of this jam in no time. I wouldn't be in this jam if you two hadn't butted in on my perfectly good lie. Grandpa? Don't you have an alleged birthday party to tend to? Yeah, about that. How goes the siege? I'm just picking off a few of the stragglers now. <laughs> Thought you could get away, did you? Why do you think we're lying about your party? Yeah, it's gonna be bitchin'! Because that stain on the stinky name has never done a kind thing for me in her entire life! You're really gonna love the birthday cake we made. I'll believe it when I see it. The ingredients for my favorite cake are so rare that I haven't eaten a bite of it in years. Well, we're off to plan your party. Don't go anywhere. I'll get my fancy tuxedo ready. Well, there's Sal. And a bunch of doppelgangers. Aren't those Sam show more respect for our car than we do? Well, that was awfully convenient. Sam? Hey, look, Max. It's our old friend, Charlie Hotep. Get it away! Get it away! Come on, Max. He'll give you cool ventriloquism powers, just like your great-grandpa Maximus had in olden times. Fine. I'll do it for the powers. But for the record, I want to make it clear that I find Charlie Hotep, like all ventriloquist dummies, completely creepy and disgusting. So are you. But you don't see me getting skittish about it. It's a good thing the city defiantly keeps a few of these antiques around, so that people can anonymously make crank calls and threaten public officials. Max? Yes? Okay, I'm stumped. Any advice? Shouldn't we be out trying to get Grandpa Stinky's birthday cake? Keep your eyes peeled, Max. Oh, that's really disgusting, Sam. Is it me, or does Lady Liberty look a little... off? I'm sure she's had some work done, but come on! What 230-year-old public figure hasn't had a butt tuck or two? Toys? Toys? Toys! Uh, shoot or run? Let's run. Toys! Toys! Toys. Toys! Toys! Well, that was a harrowing chase down the clown-infested streets of the city. And the clowns were pretty bad, too. At least we finally lost them. Corpulent dogmen swarm city. Corpulent? The nerve! I know. Doughy would have allowed them to use a larger typeface and been alliterative to boot. I could do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. This is totally awesome! Uh, 
Hey, you. Anyone interested in my psychic toys? Toys? Toys. What the heck? Stay away from me, you goofballs. Toys? Toys? Attention, dog clones! Luster Blaster has many toys of power deep within his encasement, and you cannot have them! Toys? toys? Hey, stop the tickles! I'll find whatever! Hey, Doggle-gangers! It's me, Max! I'm in this warehouse with all sorts of juicy psychic toys! Toys? Toys! Hey, it's our noisy old friend Bluster Blaster. More like a barely tolerated acquaintance. You look like chum, old chum. Sam, Max, what are you doing in Vegas? Oh, boy. Do you think you'll rejoin the cops now that your Vegas adventure is over? That portion of my life is terminated! What happened to you? Yeah, we thought you were in Vegas helping Bosco count cards and pick up showgirls. Maximum failure! Why? Counting cards out loud! Yeah, the dealers tend to notice things like that. Need any help? No, thank you! I'll just sit here until my shields regenerate! Do you know what happened to Bosco? Bosco stayed in Vegas to pay off debt to Casino! Cleaning tables? Mail stripper! Ew. Interesting. Last letter to give to Mama! Dear Mama, guess what? I met a girl. So it looks like I'll be staying in Vegas a little bit longer than originally planned. Please take care of the store while I'm away. Love, Bosco. P.S. Could you wire me about $20,000? Worst Bosco impression ever! Mind if we deliver this to Mama Bosco? Take it! I never want anything to do with Bosco ever again! Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all these Sam clones running around, would you? Those are real? Yeah. Holy Mother of God! I think that's a no. See ya, Buster. I have become death! It's Bosco's letter to Mama Bosco. Ew, he got Bosco spit all over the envelope! Bosco always was a bit of a drawer. Looks like my clones have already picked this pile of junk clean. Those guys are almost as gullible as you are, Sam. We'd better keep our distance. Sal! Sam and Max, what brings you guys down to the warehouse district? All the usual. Mystery, intrigue. The roar of the grease paint. The smell of the crowd. How are you coping with all these Sam clones? Is that what they are? I thought they might be some of your skinnier, less inhibited cousins from over in the village. So my clones haven't been hassling you? A little, but I don't seem to have whatever it is they're looking for. So you gave up your cushy job at the museum for this? You bet. That museum gig was getting dangerous. What with all the fires, the slimy tentacles, and the gorilla pummelings. I'm just not cut out for a life of excitement like that. What exactly are you doing out here anyway? Oh, I've got a great job stacking crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's way less violent. At least it was until those guys came along. Hey, Sal, you're a pretty mean chef, right? I know my way around a lemon zester, yeah. What about it? We really need someone to bake a birthday cake. Pronto! Sure, I could probably take a break and whip one up. What kind of cake you guys looking for? Is Becky an upside-down blood cake surprise? 
Ooh, that's gonna be a tall order, Sam. Don't you know how to make it? Oh, I know how to make it, all right. Any confectioner worth his icing sack knows how to make that bad boy. It's just that the ingredients are really hard to come by. Don't worry about that. Sam and I live to hunt down obscure ingredients or similarly named alternatives. It's not just the ingredients, though. It literally takes a month to bake an Uzbekian upside-down blood cake surprise. If you want it tonight, you're just S.O.L. Sorry. Well, can you at least tell us what it looks like in case we run into it in a dark alley someplace? I could do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. Voila! Impressive! I minored in chalk drawing at the Bilderberg Academy for the Culinary and Visual Arts. What's in those crates? Beats me. As long as there's nothing in these babies that keep me from stacking them, I could give a June bug's behind about what's in them, you know? Stack on, good buddy. You know it, Sam. I really like Sal, Sam. It'd be a shame if he got sucked into the undertow of the mayhem and destruction that follows us around like an awestruck teenager. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Dooby dooby doo, stacking some crates up. Dooby dooby doo. He really is a simple guy, isn't he? Keep your distance, Max. We don't want those toy sniffing Samulacarins coming after us. Toys, toys, toys. Ow! These handsome devils are all sharing the same mind. Amazing. Amazing for you, but my nasal passages are about to be visited by Uncle Flo. Boy, I could sure go for a fudgy freeze right about now. Ooh, this'll be as easy as taking cake from a baby. I think that's candy. We better not go out there. The city's crawling with clones. More like jiggling and waddling. We better not go out there. Birthday, Grandpa Stinky! Is that? One upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise! The blood looks right, but let's see if it's got the surprise! Uh, oh, an Uzbekian flensing knife! The secret ingredient the Mongols used in all their cakes! Now do you believe me? The tasty cake. Mm, mm, mm. This beautiful night. You two really were planning a birthday party, weren't you? Ooh, I've got to go try this puppy out on some doggies. All right, you furry trespassers. Make way for Daddy. There's only one thing I don't understand. Why does Sam call you my queen in his letter? Because Sam and I have been carrying on a torrid love affair for years. Is that right, hon? Uh... Meet me at the place. No, the other place. I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, Sam. But now that I've seen you and Stinky smooching, all I really want to do is climb into a bottle and wipe out a few brain cells. Sam, that whole stinky kissing thing kind of made me wish for the sweet release of death, too. 
I know, little buddy, but it'll be worth it if we can track Stinky to the real Mr. S who's controlling all these Sam clones. Do you still remember Stinky's cell phone number? Do I? It spells out my second favorite bodily excretion. I don't think I want to see what Grandpa Stinky's doing in there. There you are, Mr. S. Stinky, my queen. I would have gotten here sooner, but the old fool and his Seamus wouldn't let me leave. We've got to get rid of them once and for all. Do we have to? Killing seems so... deadly. Trust me, sweetie. It's the only way to get everything we want. Oh, baby. Okay, that's quite enough of that. It's Droopy and Stitch. Sam and Max. What are you doing down here? We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was going to ask about biological compatibility issues. All right, fine. There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in our forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa stick. Ah! Right, just the forbidden love. Really? Then how do you explain that? Whoa. Where'd those come from? Sultan, think of it. Bazaar be storm them. Yes, master. master. Sam, what just happened? Well, on the upside, it looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the master of these Samalikes. On the downside, it appears that our icky and potentially murderous lubberbirds are under the psychic thrall of our mysterious fiend. Man, I wouldn't want to be the master when Stinky snaps out of it. She straight up hates thralls. Whee! Stinky? There is no Stinky Worm, only the unknowable will of the master. Yeah, can't say I'm loving the new attitude, Stinky. Then again, we really didn't love the old attitude either. Sal? Sal's not really here right now, guys. Only the, uh, what do you call it? Indomitable Will of the Master. The Master's name is Will? The Master wants you to know that half-assed wordplay won't get you any closer to revealing his identity. Well, there goes 90% of our repertoire. Love me. Please kill my grandpa. Harsh, but accurate. Yep, I'm Sal. I... I... Oh, I just can't make fun of the big lug. la di da waiting for the master's orders. la di da da I'm not sure whether it's comforting or creepy as hell that Sal's still a good-natured bohunk even when he's enthralled. Trying to read my slave's mind? How rude. Ow! Oh. 
Sir, I think you should know that under this jacket I'm going totally commando. Very amusing, sirs. I, Harry S. Bowman, being of weak mind and weaker body, hereby authorize Agent Superball to exile me to a ninth world heck hole of his choosing. That wasn't me! Ah, <laughs> uh, very witty, sirs. Stupid Super Bowl can't even contact Uncle Morty, and he's only been dead for a week. I'm afraid the contents of my mind are classified, sirs. Well, that was odd. Harry, please go away. Just the sight of you is a painful reminder of all those millions I gave up. Hang in there, Harry. Do I have a choice? Again? You're lucky I got nothing better to do tonight. Yeah, yeah, since your social calendar is usually so packed with nightclubs and supermodels. Very cutting, sir. Shall we begin? Oh, tough room. Let's try another one. Float like a liquored-up chimpanzee. Spirits come out wherever you be! Harry Moman! What? The spirits wish to speak to you. Oh, do they? And who, pray tell, wants to talk to me? Your Uncle Morty! Uncle Morty? Is it you? Talk to me, Uncle Morty! Talk to me! Yes, your Uncle Morty. He has something important to say. Mortimer Moleman, your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at dating. Hey! Harry! Uncle Morty? Yes, it's your Uncle Morty! You sound... weird. I got a cold! <laughs> In heaven? Who said I was in heaven? If it's really you, then tell me the secret you kept from me all these years. Um, let me think about it. Morty M. Mullman, your entrance is cued. <laughs> to conquer your stage fright, just picture us nude. Mortimer Mullman, your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at dating. Hey! Come on, Morty, come on. Tell me where you hid your stamp collection. Mortimer Moleman, your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at dating. Harry! Uncle Morty? My stamp collection is hidden. Yes? In the attic. Yes? Of the Statue of Liberty! I knew it! It's a miracle! Thank you, Uncle Morty! Thank you, Max! It appears that Mr. Mullman's leap of faith has allowed the POTUS to make contact with our target, sirs. Yes! Thanks for the rescue, boys. Mama Bosco, what happened to you? I don't know. I was looking into all these rampaging Sam clones, when all of a sudden my spirit started pinballing through all sorts of nightmarish heck dimensions. If your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence, I might never have found my way home. Oh dear. It seems that the boundaries between realities are decaying. I'd best alert my superiors. Hey, I thought I was your superior. Of course you are, sir. And I, uh, need to tell my girlfriend in, uh, Winnipeg. Way to clear a room, Mama B. Good. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of this mess.
Hey, Dr. Mama Bosco, can we ask you a few questions? Can it wait? I'm very busy trying to figure out where all these Sams came from. It'll only take a minute. Fine. Got any ideas on how to stop the clones? Um, no. Not really. Max and I were taking a closer look at those underground cloning tanks. Yes? And they've got Bosco tech written all over them! That's horrible. Someone must have snuck into my lab and stolen all my cloning equipment. Who do you think broke into your lab to steal all your cloning equipment? Well, whoever wanted an army of Sam clones, obviously. Well, duh, Sam. Any word from your son since he headed off for Vegas? No, but knowing him, he's probably being scammed by some two-bit gold digger. What are you doing? Same as you two. I'm trying to find out who's behind all these clones. Hey, Sam! When are you gonna finally screw up the courage to ask me out for a date, you foxy piece of man meat? What? I didn't... Oh, I get it. Very funny, guys. <laughs> If anyone ever finds out I was hired to build those clone tanks, I'm done for. Mama B? Yes? Give it up, Mama Bosco. We know someone paid you to build those cloning tanks. Who was it? Stinky? Paperweight? Professor Plum? I... I... I don't know! All I know is, a few months ago, an anonymous donor wired me a bajillion bucks in exchange for a few hundred of my experimental cloning tanks. I knew it was shady, but times are tough for a single dead mother with a money hemorrhaging research lab. So I took the gig and looked the other way. Another victory for unregulated capitalism! This anonymous donor, anything you can tell us about him? Turn-offs, turn-ons, the last four digits of his social security number? We only spoke over the phone. He had a creepy, high-pitched voice. Sam, you don't think it could be the soda? Don't even think it, little buddy. Anything else you can remember about the mastermind who bought all those clone tanks? Aside from the squeaky voice, no. Oh, and he paid me in cash. Really old cash. Now that we've established that the clones came out of your machines, is there any way we can shut them down? Well, there should be a biometric override built into all of my clone control centers, but... Oh, I hate the sound of your butts. But my handprint is the only one that can activate the override. But without a body, you don't have handprints. Or the right to vote! About that override... Mm-hmm? If we could clone a body for you, could you activate the biometric control? That's... Uh, bug-loving insane? Absolutely brilliant! Of course, it'll have to be a perfect clone with 100% of my DNA. No problem. Um, got any lying around? Only this. As far as I know, this is the only remaining sample of my DNA in the world. And even this is only 99% complete. You'll either have to find some more or get some DNA from one of my family members so I can do a splice job. No problem. Consider yourself cloned. So all we have to do is plunk your DNA sample into your clone cooker and bingo bango, brand new Dr. Mama Bosco body, right? No. First you have to find some more Bosco DNA to fill in the gaps in the sample. Say, would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. I'm not opening that. 
the last time we rifled through Mama Bosco's closet of spooky ghost clothes, Max got ectoplasm all over himself. That doesn't even make the top 20 list of creepy things we've seen in the last two days. Hey Max, look! Mama Bosco changed her number. In the last 24 hours? <laughs> Being dead must be making her paranoid. What's the deal with this impenetrable blast door? It's an automatic failsafe measure that activates whenever the city is invaded. It keeps the hordes from getting their hands on any dangerous technology. Can you raise it? We'd really like to face the hordes. No can do, boys. Until those clones are gone, this lab's in shutdown mode. Grandpa Stinky was wrong. It won't be time to boil the haggis for another three and a half hours. getting anywhere near that clone cooker DNA receptacle until we get rid of those tentacles. We're not getting any... Just... We gotta get in there, Sam! Why? I mean, other than the generic amusement of antagonizing people. I think Mon Sewer Paperweight's mysterious boss, Dr. Norrington, is in there. And? And I need to thank him for helping me out against Sam and Mac. Poor Max. We're never getting in there until we figure out Paperweight's key code. Or maybe he could tell us the code. It's the restless spirit of Ed McMahon, and I've got a really big novelty check. Oh, jokes are gone. Give me strength. Hurry it up. I think we're being too polite. Let's see. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird, done! We probably should have guessed that one. Still remember the code? I'll have you know I've got a mind like a steel tramp. Trap? Really? Huh. A steel tramp would be a lot more fun in a bum fight. Ha -ha! Don't look at me! Oh, come on. You're not that ugly. You don't understand. Human minds aren't equipped to comprehend. Hey, Sam, there's a guy in here. I'm impressed. 
Most humans are driven incurably insane by the mere glimpse of my unspeakable visage. Yeah, well, no offense, but we get more unspeakable visages in our convention swag. So you're the mysterious Dr. Norrington? I am known by many names. Among them, Yog Sagoth, Elder Fiend of the Dark Dimension. Oh, I'm so surprised. Shocking, true, but not nearly as shocking as the horrific truths I suspect I must now reveal. What do you have to say about all those creepy tentacles we found in the cloning chamber? Tentacles? Yeah, like the ones your boy Paperweight summoned in the museum last night. Cthulhu's Wattle! Oh, I'm using that. Only one such as myself can summon the Cilia of Torment. Whoever's controlling your clones must be awash in the forces of the Dark Dimension. Did you really just say awash? The only thing that can properly vanquish matter from the Dark Dimension is... The Chthonic Destroyer! What's the Chthonic Destroyer? Is it pointy? The Chthonic Destroyer is the ultimate psychic toy. A weapon so terrible that it was once used to drive the Elder Gods themselves back to their home in the Dark Dimension. Ah, oh, look. That Mole Man is smiting an army. Mind if we hold on to this? Sam's got a thing for illuminated manuscripts. If it will help you find the Chthonic Destroyer... Yes, of course. Thanks. I'll try to keep Max from drawing dirty pictures in the margins. Can the Destroyer be used against those tentacles? The Destroyer is proof against anything from the Dark Dimension. Me, the tentacles, the toy box... Sam, we gotta get one of these things! You'll have to find the hidden giggling realm of skittering ingestion if you wish to find the Destroyer. What the fuck? You're Yog sagoth the world-shattering Elder God? You look like something my non-existent cat coughed up. Curb your tongue, rabbit! No, no, paperweight. The naked one is right. This debased form is a pathetic shadow of my former glory. Long before the dawn of man, my kind was sovereign over this dimension and countless others. We welcome the development of sentient life, drinking hey, deeply me. from your bottomless wellsprings of terror, and also your succulent hairy flesh. Ew. For untold eons, we lapped at the perpetual buffet of your horror and worship, until powerful forces rallied to drive us back to the dark dimension. Forces? Primitive hybrids somehow impervious to our powers. You know them as Mole Men. Get out of here! Yes, that's exactly what they ordered us to do. You know, it's a lot harder to take you prehistoric Elder Gods seriously, now that I know you were banished by a bunch of Mole Men. Scoff if you must, but the Mole people were much more powerful before they were genetically marginalized by the cruel twists of evolution. Just like Uncle Billy. So, should I call you Yog sagoth or Norrington? Call me Dr. Norrington. When uttered by your mortal tongues, my true name sounds disturbingly like our term for number two. You should hear him say nuclear. Do you know anything about all these handsome brutes that are stealing toys throughout the city? The clones are meaningless. And chubby! Hey! But if they are truly stealing toys, then their master may be attempting to gather a complete collection of the Toys of Power. Collect all 1,024! Impress your friends! And destroy the entirety of existence as we know it! You've already borne witness to the damage that can be wrought when the Devil's Toy Box is mostly full. If the box is completely engorged, its power will tear down the walls of reality itself! So, aside from tearing apart reality, anything else you think we should know about the Plague of Me? Only that they should seriously consider a gym membership. You and Paperweight seem to know a lot about that Devil's Toy Box that everybody keeps stealing. The Devil's Toy Box. Ha! <laughs> you should be so lucky. What are you talking about? The Toy Box is of a power far greater than that of your primitive gods and devils. It is the property of my grandson, Junior! Junior? Yes, Junior. 
the youngest and most horrible of the Elder Gods. His birthing whale shattered the supercontinent of Pangaea. His first steps sunk the proto-civilizations of Subarctica. Junior? In an effort to stop my rampaging grandchild from destroying the Omniverse, I brought many of my precious childhood keepsakes over from the Dark Dimension to keep Junior distracted and entertained, as well as a box to contain their frightening power. Junior? Unfortunately, when the Elder Gods were banished to the Dark Dimension, Junior's toy box was lost during the move, and in the millennia since, he just will not stop whining about it. Junior? It's a lot scarier if you've got the requisite complement of larynxes to pronounce it correctly. So why have the one and a half of you been trying to get your hands on the toy box all these years? To destroy it! But why? It's got all those cool toys that make my brain tingle and my ears all fuzzy! The toys of power were never meant for mortal hands. For the sake of all that exists, they must be returned to the toy box and annihilated. You're not gonna take my toys, are you? Not yet. Your chaotic mastery of the toys of power may yet prove useful in defeating the master of these blasphemous portly canines. So how did gigantic behemoth of an elder god like you get stuck in panty waist waste anyway? Maybe your wait! Silence! Several decades ago, Monsieur Paperweight foolishly attempted to summon me to this plane of existence. Yeah, we, uh, may have heard something about that. Paperweight's infantile conjurings were doomed to failure, but the uncanny power of your grandsire's brain somehow managed to extrude an infinitesimally tiny fraction of my essence into this dimension. It became fused with Paperweight's unsettlingly hairless and ladylike torso. We've spent the better part of a century trying to retrieve the toy box and send the great Yogg-Sagoth home. And we would have succeeded last night if you hadn't lost your temper over that slobbering space ape! Sorry about that. Stay put. We'll probably have more questions later. Your kind always does. Max? That's what they call me at the Manny Petty! I wonder who's behind these simulacrums. Doggle-gangers. Paperweight's acting awfully guilty. Yeah, but he's just a stooge for that pushy Dr. Norrington. I wonder who- Doggle-gangers. I'm still not sure if I buy Mama Bosco's story about the mysterious benefactor who bought all those clone tanks from her. Me neither. I can see right through her. Cause she's a ghost. I wonder who- Do I thought that Paperweight and Norrington were behind the Plague of Sam's, but they seemed genuinely surprised about those tentacles. Don't count them out yet, Sam. I never trust anyone with two faces and three names. What? Dog. I guess Stinky and Sal were merely pawns in the Clone Master's annoying Parcheesi game. Okay, I'm stumped. Any advice? I think we should clone Mama Bosco so we can take control of the clones. Keep your eyes peeled, Max. Oh, that's really disgusting, Sam. Can we borrow this? You most certainly may not. It is so fragile that the slightest breeze destroy it. But the scroll is meaningless. Who knows what sorts of ancient gimcracks and gugas lurk in those boxes? Well, I'm not opening them to find out. Do you know how hard it is to get gugah juice out of my fur? Say, Papercut, mind if we take a closer look at your journal? I promise to laugh at your bad poetry and schoolboy crushes. No! I'm afraid I must concur with my host. Paperweight's journal contains all the spells we'll eventually need to destroy the toy box and send me home. Paperweight must have used this antique privacy screen to help protect his horrible squiddy secret all these years. We also used it to perform psyche-destroying shadow puppet shows for the kiddies. Beastly. A 
Actually, the great horned Wallitacker was a rather gentle creature, subsisting primarily on palm fronds and snot. Oh, for the love of me, could you just turn it off for one single solitary minute? Sorry. Cats. I hate those guys. Hey, Max, could you spare a few seconds to memorize Paperweight's phone number? Okay, but my brain's getting awfully full. I might lose a few chapters of my poignant Inuit coming-of-age novel. The trials of Kenelik the Awkward will have to wait for another day, little buddy. Hey, Yagi, what's this map all about anyway? Paperweight and I have been attempting to locate spots where the membranes between our worlds are the weakest, so that I can be sent home with as little fuss as possible. That's awfully polite for an elder god who savors the taste of human misery. Edge has mellowed me. Ah, cripes. A bunch of Sam clones are ghost riding the DeSoto out in the parking lot. When were they cloned? 2005? Apparently, Paperweight's never heard of the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> or dust rags! Can we keep this? No, it will only distract you from your true goal. Besides, I like to gaze upon it for sentimental reasons. Aside from the troubling tentacle face, old Yagi cut quite the figure back in the day. Although the Egyptians possessed a limited ability to imagine my true form, they were spot on in their rendering of my six-pack abs and rippling pecs. So, Doc, I've got a few more questions. Of course you do. I'm an elder god, blah blah blah. Everyone listen to me. I see you have acquired Charlie Hotep. <laughs> yeah, creepy little thing, ain't he? Oh my, yes. I don't even know why I brought him over. Junior hated him, played with him for about ten minutes, then tossed him aside like a used snot rag. That's kind of sad. The elder gods are beyond your mortal concepts of sentiment. They I'll do not- Give it a rest. Ooh, I'm a skinny sorcerer with a squid in my belly! Fear me! What a horrid impersonation! Cease your intrusions into my host's mind. Gaze not into the mind of an elder god, insect! Max is so powerful now, soon he won't even need a partner. It's an incomplete sample of Mama Bosco's DNA. It's a page from an illuminated manuscript detailing an incident with something called the Destroyer. And lo, did Brother Acidophilus return in a flash of light from the giggling realm of skittering ingestion, armed with the Chthonic Destroyer. Though giggling and plagued with visions of skittering insects, noble Acidophilus smote the beasties from the dark dimension with the Destroyer. His enemies laid low, Acidophilus returned the Destroyer to the gibbering realm, and resumed his peaceful life of molitude. Years later, he was eaten by a crazed beast. That is the worst story I've ever heard. I don't think they'd invented the three-act structure back then, Max. Thank you. 
Hey, Dr. Mama, could this dimensional destabilizer be used to, say, visit a spooky suburb of the Dark Dimension to get a horrifyingly powerful weapon? I suppose. Want to give it a whirl? Sure. Now, I haven't had a chance to calibrate the navigational controls, so you'll have to figure them out for yourself. Don't we always? Wish me luck, Max. I'm off to explore the Nether Realms. You should probably rephrase that. Ow! Turn down the volume! <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Sam? Beset by any visions of insects and or arachnids? <laughs> Bellows of Krakatoa, what a ride! You okay? Yeah, but only because I've sealed away most of what I saw into a deep corner of my subconscious. Just like that time you caught me singing in the shower. Let's see, flash of light, blah blah blah, giggling realm of skittering ingestion, giggling and beset by visions of insects, destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension, leader eaten by a beast. Let's try this again. Hey, you! <laughs> ah! Bugs! Roaches! They're under my skin! Get them off! <laughs> And I'm back. If we ever want to find that Chthonic Destroyer in the Illuminated Manuscript, we'd better start figuring out what these dials do. Keep doing this, we should look into some sort of frequent flyer discount. Okay, that one was just plain weird. Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? Bugs, roaches, they're under my skin, get them off! <laughs> I 
Badgers. <laughs> Chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? Badgers? <laughs> Whoa! Chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? Badgers. <laughs> Whoa. Those monks sure knew how to illuminate a manuscript. Now where'd I leave that Heisenberg? This ancient manuscript page is too fragile to use like that. Let's see, flash of light, blah, 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 giggling realm of skittering ingestion, giggling and beset by visions of insects, destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension, leader eaten by a beast. I think I prefer that reading better. Years later, he was eaten by a beast. What kind of future is that? Something tells me I'd better not touch that. Something tells me I'd better not touch that. <laughs> Sam? Ah, oh, great. Sam's been driven insane by an unspeakable horror. Now I've got a Craigslist for a new partner. <laughs> no, no, hey, no, little buddy, really, I'm fine. I just got that medium extra small joke from earlier. Boy, that Super Bowl, he's a hoot and a half. Oh yeah, and check out this keen knickknack I picked up from the giggling realm of skittering and gesturing realm of skittering and gestion. Is that the dark dimensional destroyer that Norrington was yammering about? Only one way to find out. Let's blast the bejeebus out of something from the dark dimension. Short sure don't leave anything to the imagination, do they? <laughs> Mama B? Yes? Zero, 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 one. Hmm, this must be where the first clone came out. Unless our mastermind counts backwards, or in base I, or is dyslexic. Mama B? Yes? Ma? 
Max? That's what they call me at the Manny Petty. Keep your eyes. Oh, that You'll never get past the Master Sentry Cilia. Even though they're on a toy-stealing mission that'll no doubt bring about the end of the world, it makes me proud to see my clones going about their labor so diligently. Sam? Whoops! Hey, you stupid nuts! I'm still in here with all my toys! 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 Hey, BB! I will annihilate you with kindness! See ya, Bluster. I have become death! <laughs> in a video game. Sufficient DNA to begin cloning process. Please insert DNA into the receptacle. It's Bosco's letter to Mama Bosco. Ew, he got Bosco spit all over the envelope. Bosco always was a bit of a drooler. DNA sample received. Processing. DNA sample insufficient to commence cloning process. Please insert complementary DNA sample to continue. Cloning tags operating at complementary DNA sample received. Exemplar clone being prepared in part 0001. Come on, come on! Patience, Max. The human genome is an insanely complicated strand of proteins containing nearly a gigabyte of raw data. Even the most sophisticated computers in the world would take weeks. Complete. You did it! Yeah. Ah! Clear a path, boys. Mama Bosco's about to make a long overdue return to the land of the living. All right, fellas, open her up. What do you think? Considering how much of your son's DNA is in there, I'd say you got off easy. Yeah, you could have ended up with a beard, or a beer gut, or a head full of wacky conspiracy theories. Zero, 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 one. Unless our master... So, Mama B, 
Can't talk now, guys. I'm trying to figure out a way to get up to the control center. It's the only way we'll be able to stop the clones. The master just wants you to know that you are, like, totally doomed. Hmm, that platform looks like a target-rich environment. Now what should I shoot first? Why'd you do that? Sometimes you just gotta shoot out a few lights. Dead light bulb detected in clone control spotlight. Please alert maintenance engineer. Show off. Now, Max, just because the good lord didn't bless you with six arms and vice-like claws... Not yet, anyway. Hey, Max, watch this. Nice shot! Thanks. It turns out the secret is aiming. Aiming. Hmm. Never heard of it. Is it a lost secret of the ancient Orient? Malfunction detected in clone control console unit. Please send technician. I've seen Stinky do in years. Yeah, she must be enthralled. Hey, Mama B. Want to be disassembled at the quantum level, then reassembled about 40 meters to the left? You know it, baby! haven't figured it out yet? Wow, for a mastermind, you sure are clueless. Oh, it matters not. Neither you nor your unwitting pawn of a scientist will be able to stop the master from achieving his dread goals. <laughs> What's her problem? We're pretty sure she's enthralled, but with Stinky it's hard to tell. Mama Bosco, would you mind activating your override so we can take control of these clones? My pleasure. You'll never defeat the master! Sam, we've got company! You see? <laughs> your cause is lost! The master will take your toys and... Sorry, I haven't been able to cold cock anyone for a long time, and she was really getting on my nerves. After the mind-numbing terror is over, you gotta teach me that move. And me. But first, let's deal with these clones. Go to the toy box! That 
seems to have gotten their attention. I guess it's time to play follow the clones. You guys go on ahead and give that master a knee to the groin for me. Getting dog hair all up in my cloning tanks. Whew. Once this case is over, we should really look into fixing the DeSoto. Hey, look, Sam! All your doggle gangers are heading into that warehouse, and my ears are doing that weird sparky thing. The toy box must be in there. We'd better sneak in and grab it before the Master's plan comes to fruition. You know, I can't remember the last time one of my plans came to fruition. It's cute when you pretend you know what words mean, Max. Sam? I just bet those drop-dead gorgeous slabs of me are heading to the Devil's Toy Box and or our mysterious Clone Master. We've got to distract him somehow. Toys. Toys? Uh, shoot or run? Let's run. Toys. Stand back, Sam. I'll send those doggle-gangers right into the harbor. I don't think so. Who said that? Hello, folks. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Unless I miss my guess, the mysterious master is none other than your little dark dimensional puppet. I knew it was evil! Well, thankfully, like all evil dummies, Charlie's pretty much helpless without a host body. Am I, Sam? Am I? Samar! Cesarum! Kill it with fire, Max! On it! Darn. Yank the cord! Yank the cord! Oh, Sam! Oh, I just had the most ridiculous dream! Stinky was making out with a giant cockroach. Then an evil ventriloquist dummy knocked us out and... Hello, boys and girls! Welcome to the Charlie Hotep Show! Oh, that's way more naked Sam flesh than I'm comfortable with. We got a great show for you tonight, ladies and germs. For our first act, our lovely and talented army of doggle gangers will sing and dance their way into your souls with their dimension shattering rendition of that oldie but goodie. Mmm, Picasso! And for our second act. Well, there won't really be a second act for most of you, since you'll be too busy screaming and gouging your eyes out after your pathetic reality is subsumed by the glories of the Dark Dimension. But you won't want to miss our spectacular finale when the great and terrible Junior makes his long-awaited return, lovingly slips me onto one of his tentacles of anguish and plays with me! Unexplained psychic powers have anything to... Hey! Where'd my toys go? Looking for these? Let's have a big Dark Dimension round of applause for Sam and Max, without whom tonight's apocalyptic conjuring wouldn't be possible. I feel so violated. And now, on with the show! Hang on, Sam! I'm coming to get you! Hang on, Sam! I'm coming to get you! Try not to end the world or anything! Lady Liberty, America's nightlight. July I V M D C C X. What is this, Canadian? Yeah, she's pretty, but I have a standing rule against dating anyone who can use me to dick boogers out of their nose. More tentacles? Jeez, those things must have one hell of a union. What are 
how Charlie Hotep got that piano all the way up there. That's not important, Max. Just get up here before Charlie completes his infernal medley. It's Troy the Destroyer! Yes, the only weapon that can reliably destroy things from the Dark Dimension. Free me, and we'll use it to stop Charlie Hotep. Soon, my sweet destroyer, soon. Come on, Sam, stop screwing around and start kicking some sawdust. Your dopey friend can't talk right now, Bunny. He's too busy playing straight man to Armageddon. Isn't that right, Binky? Yes, Master. Is that gross glob of goo looking at me? That gross glob of goo is an infinitesimal extrusion of none other than Junior. If Charlie succeeds in smashing the dark dimension into your reality, my grandson will shatter your bodies and eat your souls. Or maybe he'll eat your bodies and shatter your souls. I always get those mixed up. Hey, hey, Yog Soggy! What are you doing here? That's not important right now. Just get up here and rescue me so we can stop Charlie Hotep. Ha <laughs> ha, you got it! <laughs> what a tight ass. Wait, does he even have an ass? That website about the Freemasons was accurate. That doorway opens onto a complex series of dumbwaiters that leads to the torch. I've been slapped up in the air enough times by Sam to know that I'm never getting past those guys. and mud while playing the piano and ushering in the end of the world trick? Yes! Alrighty then! Frenaylesha! <sighs> so, buddy, what's on your mind? Why have you dragged poor paperweight slash Norrington slash Yogg Sagoth up here? Grumpy old fool thought he could destroy me along with all the other toys of power. <laughs> Now he'll bear witness to my ultimate triumph as I sacrifice him to his own grandson! And I thought my family reunions were awkward. I think you and Norrington should have a nice little sit-down. Never! I swear, ere this night doth wane, young Sagoth will drink the black splinters of my vengeance! Not that I'm not flattered, but why did you go through all the trouble to make an army of half-naked Sam clones? A spell of this magnitude requires the sacrifice of a thousand and one thralls to complete the complex and arcane chance to tear down the walls between this world and the Dark Dimension. Yeah, but why me? Because you are the ideal straight man. Only you have the perfectly malleable brain that allows me to command you where to go and what to do without fear of being challenged by a stray independent thought. It's almost as though you were born to be ordered around. He's got you there, Sam! Okay, I understand why you wanted me for your silly ceremony, but why the gold biker shorts? And why did you have to make my clones so fat? Oh, it comes my chubby little clones make the poor little doggy man uncomfortable about his body issues. Well... God! You want to talk about uncomfortable body issues? Try spending a gazillion years with nasty little mortals sticking their grubby hands into a giant orifice in your back. At least Junior always has the common decency to wash his tentacle first. 
Since the world's about to end, could you tell me what's going on with Sal and Stinky? You enthralled them before we could break out the rubber hoses. The fishwoman and the insect man were mere pawns. Their petty criminal dalliance is a pathetic warm-up back to my grand guignol! In other words... Not a clue. You sure you don't know anything about Stinky and Sal's plans for Grandpa Stinky? Hey, I just enthralled them to assemble and maintain my cloning chamber. I didn't get involved in their icky personal life. Wow, a crazy evil ventriloquist dummy. Way to perpetuate the stereotype, Charlie. I'm not crazy, or evil, or illiterate. I didn't say... I'm lonely. Is that what this is all about? Because Max and I can fix you up with a nice girl who runs a diner. I don't need a woman. I need Junior. So how long you been working on this scheme anyway? None of your beeswax, Fido. Why is the toy box all glowy? Now that my magnificent doggelgangers have gathered all the toys of power, the toy box is suffused with the terrible energies of the Dark Dimension. Good for you. When my spell is complete, I'll use the power of the toy box to tear down the walls between your realm and mine, dragging both realities into an eternity of torment and despair. Okay, but how will that be different from any other ventriloquist act? hi -oh! What makes the toy box so powerful, anyway? It was hewn from the bark of screaming mendacity on the shores of the river Pix in the Dark Dimension. Oh, I see. What in the name of Kubrick's beard groomer is that unholy abomination? That's Junior, youngest of the Elder Gods. When the walls tumble, he'll reign supreme over the darkness. And I'll be his favorite toy again, just like it was in the before time. Ha! Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you Creepy Charlie. You what, Creepy? I'll give you a creepy old man! I am the Sonic Tower robot. Please give my disruption to everybody. Nicely done, Sam. If you want to change the music again, just gesture in the general direction of the piano, and I'll do the rest. Never played with you. He hated you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Boy, oh boy, I needed that! Mm. Junior? Charlie knows nothing about Junior. Nothing! You could really use a facial peel. That's the corruption of the Dark Dimension seeping into your world. <laughs> ribs. Juicy, demonic ribs. You know, that horrific rib cage looks a little like that ladder I hit that guy with last month. I 
I wonder if the bubonic destroyer can be set to deep fry. Elder dorks! You think you're winning? Every time you change the music, you bring your world one step closer to annihilation! <laughs> Hi ho, tentacles! Away! Free me and we'll... Yeah, yeah. First I gotta shoot a dummy with a robot. Max, don't! Uh, 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 I... Get back into the toy box where you belong, Charlie. You'll never be Junior's favorite. Looks like the crowds had just about enough of your guff pops. What do you say, everyone? <laughs> you heard him, Krusty. I am the crime powered robot. Please give my instruction to everybody. Let's all give a big hand for Yogg-Sagoth's death scene, everyone! Yeah! Well, it looks like everything's about to go kablooey, so if you'll excuse me, I'll just ascend into the firmament and get ready to make the end of the world! Yeah! <laughs> that didn't go well. What are we gonna do now, Sam? Without my cool psychic toys, I'm as useless as a sprinkler in a squid farm. <coughs> Useless. I think not. Dr. Norrington? <laughs> Max, listen. The power is within you. Sam, what's happening? I think Norrington's just unlocked your total psychic potential. Cool. Either that or your head's about to explode. Either way, you should probably aim for the dummy. Will do. Godspeed, John Glenn. That song stuck in my head all night. If I leave now, I'll miss all the fireworks and Max kicks Charlie's splintered butt. Even though he's nothing more than a germinating protocol, Junior's still pretty terrifying. Images from the minds around you. Use them to defeat Charlie Houghton. No problemo. Let, let me rephrase that. What a poltroon. You think I wouldn't have planned for that? Poor Bob, the Destroyer. 
your psychic powers. Junior despised you, Charlie. I am the Chronic Power Robot. Please shut up and die. Ah, donkey ears. Close your eyes, Max! Why? This is really cool! Hey, you're right! Junior! Oh, yeah. Don't put me back in the box! I love you! Jeez, Charlie, have a little dignity. I won't you play. Just a minute, Sam. Uh, I, uh... Max! Little buddy? No! no! What? I, I thought we were doing a thing here. Max, you're alive! Yep. That icky demon seed must have broken my fall. What ridiculous luck. Says you. I think I swallowed some of that dark dimensional demon yolk. Ugh. Did it taste like chicken? No, no, no. It was more like, uh... Not funny, Max. I wasn't trying to be funny. If I was, I'd say something like, How do you keep an idiot in... Oh, I don't feel so good, Sam. Hang on, little buddy. I'll go get you some soda crackers and lukewarm pork. This is so cool! Dr. Norrington, you gotta help me with Max. He... Holy HP Lovecraft spinning through the 13 abyssal planes on a propane grill! Congratulations, my friends. Thanks to your valiant efforts, Sam and Max have eliminated the scourge of the Devil's Toy Box once and for all. But at what cost? Well, this is new. When next we meet, the fate of Sam, Max, reality, and perhaps your very sanity will rest in your trembling hands in the concluding chapter of... The Devil's Playhouse!
Sal? 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 Ah, there you are, my friend. I'm so glad you could make it back for our final chapter. It has been one week since the tragic turn of events that transformed Max from irrepressible scam to rampaging behemoth. Even now, he cuts a swath of destruction through the Upper West Side, releasing hideous spores that feed off the psychic energy of dream. You might think that this is yet another predictable story of a giant monster attacking Manhattan. But you'd be dead wrong, my friends. This is a mystery story, a tale of treachery and deceit. Watch carefully, my friends, because before our story is complete, one of the characters you see before you will betray Sam and Max. Who is it? That remains to be revealed. I'll join you again at the halfway point to give you one final guess. But for now, you have more pressing concerns. The great Max Beast, his hour come round at last, slouches towards Brooklyn to be born. Reports coming in from downtown. Oh no! The entire neighborhood of Tribeca has fallen asleep! Those fools! Why did they insist on running that independent film festival? The creature is destroying the city, and the longer we wait, the more powerful he becomes. As acting president, I'm forced to launch the final imperative. No, wait. There's still some of Max in there. I know it. There's got to be another way. We've tried everything, sir. Not quite everything. If you could somehow get a team of highly trained experts inside Max, they might be able to reach his brain and reverse the transformation. But the Mametrons have already attempted to get through every point of entry. Some of the attempts were too horrible to even think about. Yeah, but they've all been avoiding the mother of all orifices, Max's mouth. Enter through the mouth? That's suicide. Hmm. I guess it's possible. If you could find a way to get him to swallow you whole, there'd be an opening about three meters wide. Three meters? That would be impossible, even for a computer. Max used to eat Stinky's Megachomp brats in one gulp, and those aren't much smaller than three meters. Hmm, very well, sir. But I can only give you until 6 a.m. At that point, for the good of America, I'll have to launch the attack. I'm on the case. Now, where am I gonna find a team of highly trained experts? The real tragedy of Max turning into a giant monster is that this attack is exactly the kind of thing he would love to watch. The destabilizer turned out to be a huge letdown. Still a nice conversation piece, though. Let me see. The Upper West Side, Midtown, and the Village are all reporting extensive damage. And uh-oh! Insiders say Greg and Fred are headed for a divorce. What about the children? Hello, and 
welcome to the Creature Obliteration and Punishment Society. Obliteration and Punishment? You've got it all wrong. We're trying to help Max. We will help him. To a generous serving of ass whooping. So if a Gibbon had a microchip implanted, hey, wait a second, what happened to the Crime Tron? She is on an extended weekend getaway with the Bluster Blaster Machine. Ouch. How's uh, Kurt taking it? I only want her to be happy is all. Who needs that Crime Tron anyway, am I right? You shut your mouth. She was an angel designed in California and manufactured in heaven. What are you guys doing here? We have pledged our prodigious processing power to devising an algorithm that will save the city, if not the entire universe. You are welcome. How long is that gonna take? Estimating. Buffering. Time to completion, 3.5 minutes. Well, that's convenient. Only three and a half minutes to come up with a solution to the whole thing? Oh, God, no. It will take three and a half minutes to come up with the estimate. If we could disguise the DeSoto, we could use it as a Trojan horse to sneak into Max's body like a virus and take out any mind worms or whatever it is that's causing this whole thing. Please don't mention Trojan horses, worms, or viruses around us. If we could disguise the DeSoto, we could use it as a Trojan horse to sneak into Max's body like a virus and take out any mind worms or whatever it is that's causing this whole thing. Please don't mention Trojan horses, worms, or... Have you guys got any ideas about how I can help Max? Our breakthrough Destructo Match technology can calculate the perfect points to place nuclear warheads for maximum destruction with only PG-13 levels of blood and gore. That is one rabbit who will be multiplying into a thousand smoldering pieces. Come on, cops. It's not Max's fault he's been turned into a shambling Elder God. That is one Elder God who is headed for mandatory retirement. I'm serious, cops. Superball's gonna blow up my best buddy if I can't stop him. It looks like you're BFF. We'll soon be DOA. You guys are really getting on my nerves. And soon Max's nerves will be getting on you. After we blow him up, that is. Ah, greeting Sam. As the official representative of the Theater District, I offer our full support in this time of crisis. Hiya, Mr. Featherly. Want to join the team and help us save Max? Unfortunately, I must decline. Union rules, you know. Can't perform inside any theater smaller than 500 seats or any creature larger than 10 stories. And for obvious reasons, I am averse to being eaten. Will you join the rescue team, Mama Bosco? Sorry, Sam. If this is going to work, you're going to need me operating the radio and monitoring equipment from here. Paperweight and I will be happy to assist, of course. We will? Man up, Paperweight. Sam is going to need someone familiar with Creatures of the Dark Dimension. That's a good start, but you're going to need five more people. A scuba diver, a veterinarian, a psychologist, a dark wizard, and a brain surgeon. Did somebody call me? Sybil, you've come to help us save Max? What? Heck no. Seriously, did somebody call me? Harry Molman grabbed my cell phone from me and smashed it. But... but... Oh, all right. I'm in. I'll wait by the car. Looks like you've got your team, Sam. Now go out there and get Max to eat you! That sounded better in my head than out loud. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir.
What was that you were talking about? The final imperative? A full nuclear strike against former President Max. Where would you get the equipment for that? Each of the Mametrons has been fitted with a nuclear warhead and given a programming upgrade so that their song references are slightly less dated. Also, they can fly now. A nuclear strike would wipe out all of New York, not to mention kill my formerly little buddy. Acceptable losses. It's all part of contingency plan to devise when Max became president. A acceptable? How can you say... Wait, contingency plan two? Statistical analysis indicated that Max becoming a gargantuan hell beast was the second most likely outcome. What was the most likely outcome? Imagine a scenario involving the worst aspects of the Norse legend of Ragnarok, the Book of Revelations, and Weekend at Bernie's. Awfully convenient that you're next in line for the presidency right as Max gets turned into a giant monster. Yes, sir. Convenient. And terrible. How bad's the damage, Super Bowl? As damage goes, it's rather spectacular, sir. The ex-president is the most horrible and destructive creature ever to enter New York, not counting those coming from Long Island. We've had to quarantine the entire island of Manhattan. So you're saying it's just us, alone against some colorful street gangs and a sewer system full of bloodthirsty chuds, unless we can... escape from New York? Actually, the chuds have been deployed to secure the perimeter, sir. A little tolerance and appreciation would be nice. Half the city is destroyed, and Mama Bosco still can't find someone to help bust up this old shiver -obe. Today is a good day to die. giant monster attacking the city, am I right, fellas? Now you all know I'm not one for speeches, but I have prepared a few words. <clears throat> Let's kick that devil bunny's ass! Move out! Hunt! Everything checks out here. Your eyes are getting very, very heavy. Oh, hi, Sam. With the modifications I've made to the DeSoto, we should be all set to travel through Max. You'll just need to find a way to get it inside him. Are those fake Maxes bothering you? Sleep! Sleep! Sam, I'm in my fifth trimester here. I couldn't sleep even if I wanted to. Nice work, Sybil. I didn't know you were into cars. Oh, you know, after college I got together with a few of my girlfriends, and I know it's a cliché, but we opened a chop shop. Suction wheels, antibody-proof paint job, and an exhaust system rich in omega-3. And what's that I smell? I thought you would appreciate that. Wiener scented air fresheners! Sybil, you're the best. Are you sure it's safe for you to go on this mission in your, um, condition? Don't worry, Sam. I've talked to the best OBGYNs and the finest classical sculptors, and they all agree that everything's fine. I'm not due for another two weeks, at least. So, uh, looks like you and Lincoln had an, uh, uh eventful honeymoon. Oh, it was absolutely magical. He took me back home to D.C. to introduce me to his friends. And then one night, as we were out on the White House lawn, looking at the stars, he just suddenly took me in his... Sam? Sam, are you okay? 
What? Oh, sorry, my brain went into shock for a second to prevent permanent damage. Please, go on. Not much more to tell, really. Thirteen months later, and here we are. Well, I'm glad you two had a nice honeymoon, even though you must never ever speak of it again in my presence. Oh, that's sweet. You know, I wanted to thank you and Max for introducing me to Abe, and I know how much you both like new guns, so before I left, I got you both a surprise. Ooh, gimme! Where is it? Shut up, not Max. But seriously, Sybil, where is it? It's in those boxes of stuff I gave you for safekeeping. Oh. Okay, see you around, Sybil. Let me know as soon as you're ready to leave. Hiya, pal. What's the rumpus? Hey, Flint. Want to join us inside Max's body for- Don't I, Sam. I've got to beat cheeks while the beating's good. Um, okay... Don't fret, Grandpa. I'll put the pinch on those grifters trying to take you for a ride faster than you can shave a hobo's coin slot. Does he really have to do that with the lingo getting all disturbing? And it's always about hobos for some reason. <laughs> The last box of corn dogs in the entire city. Corn dogs? Gimme, give gimme! Give what? Dog me, Sam. Keep them coming. Go on, beat it. Those imposters like corn dogs as much as the real Max does. I hope that means the real Max is still somewhere inside that lumbering sack of doom. Go on, shoot! Can you not do something about your wee friend here? I think if you just apologize for calling him short, we could put all this behind us. It's nae worth it. Have you and Stinky patched things up since your birthday party? She and that, that bridge and tunnel and sewer boyfriend of hers are up to something. I guarantee it, and they are not going to catch me by surprise. I think you're being too hard on Sal. I'll bet if you just talked, you'd find out you had a lot in common. Like what? Well, you're both almost impossible to kill, you like dark places, and you hiss a lot. <laughs> ah! Do you want to join us for an action-packed fantastic voyage inside the body of Max? Do I? Do I? No! Oh, come on, Grandpa. Every action rescue team needs an unlikable one who's first to get picked off when the killing starts. Well, I can't. I'm washing my beard tonight. What's with the delivery truck? Obviously, I'm delivering food for the war effort. I don't see anything in there but a bunch of cornmeal. That's because these flaming parasites ran off with all me wieners. We must feed the host. Pig lips and sphincters make us stronger. We regret nothing! With your truck out of commission, now what are you going to do? Heading back to my diner while I still have one. But you'll be crushed, or lulled into a horrible nightmare of sleep by the hideous spores. Come play with us, Grandpa. We will whisper sweet stories from the congressional record. I haven't slept in three years, and I ain't about to start now. At least move your truck. You're parked in a red zone. <laughs> if you want it moved, then you'll have to do it yourself. Were you making your diabolically delicious demon dogs? Aye. I really thought they'd bring the city together, too. That actually sounds kind of generous, Grandpa Stinky. I know, especially since everyone in New York would be hooked, and then they'd have to come to my diner to get any more. I'd make a fortune. And now I suppose you expect me to be giving you my super secret recipe. Well, yeah, that'd help. All right, there you go. Uh, that's it? Of course that's it. It's just a recipe. Why do you always have to make things so complicated? Thanks for the recipe, Grandpa Stinky. Yeah, good luck with that, Marmaduke. Now I've got to perfect the recipe of my own. Any more ideas, Fake Max? I 
can dispense hints for the cost of one delicious corn dog. Forget it. I'm not wasting these things on you cheap floaty knockoffs. Oh, then sleep. It's a ton or so of Grandpa Stinky's world famous ultra high fructose cornmeal. I don't think I'd be able to carry all of it. Grandpa Stinky's been selflessly devoting his truck to the war effort. You take the wheels and I'll check the cab to see if there's a radio. You'd have to be some kind of monster to loot an emergency vehicle in the middle of a war zone. Besides, I already tried it. Friends may come and go or turn into horrible monsters, but a big gun will never let you down. It's my government-issued jar of chocolate-covered espresso beans. Everybody in the city got one to help us stay awake against Max's creepy spores. They were giving out cans of Head Rush brand energy drink, but it all got recalled on account of the high fructose corn syrup and tiny shards of broken glass. These corn dogs have to last me for at least two weeks, so I'm limiting myself to at most one dozen per day, starting tomorrow. It's Grandpa Stinky's recipe for his diabolically delicious corn dogs. They're Max's favorite. Mmm, something smells good. <laughs> Come on, Max. Here, boy. Hey, Sal! Guess he's still skittish about that whole necking with girl Stinky, plotting the murder of Grandpa Stinky, and unknowingly contributing to the apocalyptic fever dreams of a mad ventriloquist dummy from the Dark Dimension thing. But what's he doing hanging around Bosco Tech? Manhattan, a city under siege. But is it, as some would have you believe, the fault of an out-of-control hell beast or something far, far worse? One hundred percent pure rapeseed oil. Mama Bosco converted the entire lab to biodiesel. I can't get close to it with that film crew in the way. Monster attacks in New York would be so much easier without all the cliched German vampire tourists and their video cameras. Hey, watch it! You're blocking the lights! Oops, sorry, Jürgen. What's new, Beelzebub? No time to chat, Sam. I'm doing public relations work that is absolutely crucial to my enterprise. I didn't even know Hell had a public relations department. We sincerely appreciate your feedback. Now go away. What are you filming here exactly? It's just a documentary explaining how I had nothing to do with this giant Max attack. Ah, plausible deniability. More like protecting my brand. Just look at that psychic lummox. It just sits there eating things. Where's the temptation? Where's the cruel, ironic twist? I want to go on record saying Sorry Max blew up your toy box. And that's another thing. Devil's toy box? I've never seen the thing before in my life. It's slander, pure and simple. Yeah, the story I heard was it got left behind by some Elder Gods or something. Exactly. 
elder gods. They were already gone by the time I got here. Pinning this on me is nothing but character assassination. From the Great Pesto Flood of 1908 to the premiere of Starlight Express in 1987, New York City is no stranger to tragedy. But this tragedy... Go match! New York rules! I will cast you into the pit if you walk into frame again! Hey, Satan, want to join our rescue team for fun-filled escapades inside Max's innards? Now, what could I possibly have to gain from that? Well, it'd be a lot of fun, and you could just pop us all right inside with your magic powers and stuff. Besides, it's just a good, noble thing to do. You're not familiar with my previous work, are you? Any ideas how we could get Max to eat us? You keep asking me to help you, Sam. I don't believe you understand. I'm kind of a bad guy. Note the lack of tail on the creature, and the tentacles, which are far too busy to be my work. Shout out to all the Crime Stoppers and the 212. Clear the scene now if you value your soul. Sam and Max fans are the best in the world. Hello, Jorgen. Satan's got you as his cameraman now? Sam, please. I'm a German vampire. Filmmaking is in my blood, as is the blood of several German filmmakers. <laughs> so, Jürgen, need an assistant director or something? You wouldn't be able to handle it, Sam. Just between you and me, the talent is insufferable. Oh, he keeps telling me, make sure you get my good side. He's Satan. He doesn't have a good side. Interesting wardrobe you've got going on there, Jürgen. <laughs> Figures you would not understand. The goth look is so three years ago. 1900 retro is the look for fall in New York City. Plus, it's a lot cheaper. Sam, what happened to you to make you so cynical? Mind if I uh, scooch on through and get to that water tower? I cannot deal with more of these delays! Please, Sam. The lighting is perfect right now. Be a good boy and wait until we're finished here. It's really important that I get over to that. Did you know there's a special circle in hell dedicated to people who interrupt me while I'm working? Point taken. So, that bald spot of yours keeps showing up on camera. Can you guys fix that in post? What? Is it showing? My stylist explicitly guaranteed it wouldn't be visible. Soundcheck! Check, check. Succubus, succubus. Is this thing on? <laughs> Yipe! Are you okay, Satan? That was quite a fall. I've had worse, but I can tell when I'm not wanted. Come on, Jürgen. Oh, thank wickedness, that nightmare is finally over. Let's go back to hell. Oh, right. We're going to need to make that digestion proof. If I could get enough speed, I bet I could jump this thing straight into- Sorry, Sam. The modifications I've made to the DeSoto make it perfect for traveling through Max's innards. But it can't travel on land.
Mmm, corn dogs. They're good and good for you. Any luck yet, Sam? There's got to be some way to turn Max back to quote-unquote normal. Don't worry about that, Sam. Just concentrate on getting Max to eat you. With Sybil and Dr. Norrington's help, you boys will be back to stopping crimes and wasting my time before you know it. Yes! Brain surgery on a creature as large as this has almost a 0.72% chance of success! I never thought it would be this hard to get Max to eat something. He's probably still full after eating the Bronx last night. He's bound to come looking on our street any second now. Just get out there and try to look tender and succulent. Those flaming Max head things don't seem to be getting into the lab. For the time being, anyway. I'm playing a recording on a super ultrasonic frequency that keeps them away. What recording is it? I can see you! Ah, I wondered why I was subconsciously being driven into a murderous rage. So, why were you warning us not to take a nap or read political blogs again? Because of the spores, you see. Creatures, such as the one your ex-partner turned into, churn them out like vegans from a liberal arts college. They are linked to the host, and they feed off the psychic energy of the city's nightmares! It's all very gross, but perfectly natural for an elder god. You should have seen me during my awkward phase. I was putting out so many spores, it's a miracle I didn't go blind. Why are you still working on that destabilizer, Mama Bosco? You got your body back. I'm still trying to find a way to get Dr. Norrington back to his own dimension. Yog Sagoth is my lord and master always, but I think we could use some time apart. So far, I've only been able to manage quick jumps of around 15 seconds or so. Sounds neat. I want to watch. I am at your service, Sam. It was sure nice of you to pitch in to help save Max, Mr. Featherly. Of course. Anything for this great city, Sam. I would sacrifice my soul itself to guarantee the spirit of theater lives on, and the lights of Broadway are never truly snuffed out. I thought Max destroyed Broadway the first night of his rampage. Indeed. And my theater is now bedded beneath two tons of his spore. So, I have some free time on my hands. You wouldn't know where I could get an egg, Mr. Featherly. Oh, I see how this works. Everyone assumes that just because I happen to be poultry, of course I know where to score them some eggs. It's for a good cause. <sighs> Very well. Bear in mind that this is strictly a one-time deal. Noted. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Me, 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 me. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. <clears throat> What's the problem? I can't do this with everyone watching me. I don't think they're watching you, Mr. Featherly. There's a giant monster attacking the city. It's good of you to say so, Sam, but my magnetism and stage presence are undeniable. I simply cannot do this until everyone turns around and gives me some privacy. I can't help you with those... Computers watching. Every blink of the cursor is like an indictment. I don't think they have cameras, Mr. Featherly. In fact, I don't understand how they've been seeing Max and me all this time. Or walking around, or how they can move around without unplugging themselves. And you say I'm the one overthinking it. Please press or say the number of the question you want to ask. 
I hope you guys are being careful. I hear there's a particularly nasty virus going around. I swear I have been careful. It was only that one time. Can never be too careful, guys. You better run a scan or something. We're sorry. This will require us to go through a full reboot. We would be unavailable for approximately 30 to 60 seconds. We'll find some way to manage without you. Shut down commencing. Will I dream? Just hurry it up. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Ooh, is that a rooster laying an egg? What? Where? Ah! Oh, finally! It's going to take forever to get my figure back. Thanks, Super Bowl. I desperately wanted to see that, sir. Ask him if he'll lay another one. Maybe some other time. See anything familiar? Just the usual screaming void past the brink of infinity. We'll have to try again later. Wandering around the Mole Man tunnels is no fun without Max. It sure was nice and disturbing of Mr. Featherly to donate his egg to the war effort. One recipe to rule them all and one egg for binding. Nerd! Now how am I going to find a way to heat this up? The potion is completed, my brothers! We must feed the host! Bless it, corn dogs! Last one in's a stinking parasite! Beautiful! It's a good thing we spent extra to make the DeSoto a watertight convertible. Okay everybody, put your shoes on, it's time to leave! Disgusting! Paperweight, don't let any of it get in my mouth. Uh oh. Hey, Mametrons, I found a suspicious looking corn dog just lying here. It's like lying in a puddle of carnival vomit. T17 to base. Commencing bomb disposal. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. All right, let's do this.
Well, here we are in Max's stomach. Ruminate! Ruminate! Trespassers will be digested! Ah, oh, cram it, Flame Brain. G.I. to brain, G.I. to brain, trespassers in the stomach, they look quite delicious. Fascinating. The psychic feedback from the dark dimension has planted an image in our minds, causing us to perceive the creature's organs as if they were an actual kitchen. No, well, this is pretty much what Max's insides have always looked like. We've got to get up to the brain so we can get out of here, Sam. If we're going to save Max, we can't waste any time. Plus, I really have to go to the bathroom. This must be where Max stores all the nutritious food that enters his gaping maw before he digests it. I wonder if I should open it. He's still got a bottle of milk he drank in 1976. That answers that question. Now craving. More corn dogs. One is too many. One hundred is never enough. Looks like this vent goes directly to Max's nose, so he can smell food while he's digesting it. Biology is disgustingly fascinating. Digestive enzymes, stomach acids, meat and flesh tenderizers. I never figured Max was such a gourmet. How are we going to get out of here and up to the brain? He's still trying to digest the DeSoto dog, and that's just empty calories. We need to find a way to get a rush of blood or endorphins or something up to his gray matter. We made pretty good time getting to the stomach, considering all the traffic we ran into down the esophagus. Dr. Norrington, what can we expect to see in here now that Max has become a horrible, twisted abomination escaped from the mouth of madness? No offense. None taken. Internally, your compatriot should look the same as he always has, just more tentacly. We save the truly bizarre stuff for the outside of our bodies, because it's scarier that way. This must be how Max digests stuff. Like the tender morsels of wayward travelers. <laughs> I'm an elder god, and even I found that creepy. You must know your way around here. How do we get up to the brain? You don't! You stay with us here and drift off into the peaceful sleep of digestion. Well, you're worthless. Just out of curiosity, how many calories would you say are in you? Hope this works. There's enough caffeine in here to make even a film blogger get up and move. What was that? Uh-oh. Hang on, everybody! Ladies and horrible monsters first. Not you, not Max. But I'm a horrible monster! Last stop, the cerebral cortex. I suppose that Max's brain always looks like a living room, yes? Well, Max's host all kinds of weird parasites, and he likes to be a good host. Aha! Well, there's your problem. Greek galloping Golgi and lipstick on a Vespa with a leather-bound day planner. It's mind worms, right? I bet Featherly 50 bucks it was mind worms. It's a tumor. Damn it! <laughs> seems to be teeming with dark energy as well. Still, once we've removed it, your friend should pop right round to normal again. They're assuming that's what you really want. Why is it glowing? Sam, come here and take a closer look. I bet if I touch it here, he'll start speaking with an Australian accent. Yo, it shocked me! The brain synapses are firing at an alarming rate. The voltage is quite high. Ah, uh, whoa. Ah, get away, fake Max. Do you find my warmth alarming, Sam? The freaky creature is correct, Sam. We won't be able to operate until you can cut off the power to the brain. The medulla oblongata acts as kind of a circuit breaker for the brain. If you can cut it off, we can get to work. Okay then, experts. Where do I find the medulla oblongata? Perhaps behind this door? You'll be able to get rid of that tumor with no problem, right, Sybil? I don't know, Sam. It looks weird. Check it out. 
Does that tumor look normal to you, Dr. Norrington? It's like nothing I've seen before. Perhaps you can identify why it's pulsing? Looks comfortable. Indeed it is, Sam. A brief respite from your adventures would be most reinvigorating, and you'd find yourself all the more amenable to investigative duties for it. I'm on to you, Fake Max. You and your cheap thesaurus are trying to bore me to sleep. Nothing doing. Cozy. Feel the warmth, Sam. Does it make you drowsy? No, not really. How about now? Still no. This must be Max's auditory nerve. Nothing but static. I guess there's nothing around Max right now worth hearing. This low-tech optic nerve will give me a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to literally see the world through Max's eyes. Nothing special. Must be a cellular phone. I'm pretty sure these tentacles aren't normal for Max. The dark matter is slowly transforming Max's entire body. If we don't act quickly, he'll be in this form permanently. This must be for Max's inner monologue. Still analog, for the warm, rich sounds you can't get from digital. I guess it would help if I actually put a record on this thing. It's Max's collection of ideas for novels, in audiobook on vinyl form. Glad to see he's keeping track of them. He's always coming up with these things, but I assume they just flew out of his tiny, oversaturated brain. Where did they... Did everybody get all staticky and find themselves in the stomach again? I detected a spiky psychic energy coming from the monster. Is everyone okay? We appear to be in some sort of game room. You are now at the mercy of the brain, Butterball. Max must be using his psychic powers to keep us from entering the brain. Yes, they're very fussy at this age. He's just looking for attention. Better to ignore him. Okay, that's dumb. But I've got a better idea. If we could put enough electrical current to Max's body, it temporarily short out his powers and let us inside the brain. But that would take a voltage of at least 46 helijoules. The only place in the city with that much power is the electric plant down in Battery Park. And we've got to find some way to get control of Max's body and take him downtown. like some kind of exercise room? Oh, hey Sam. I think I found the uh, manual override for the light controls here. I had to rewire some of the nerve endings, but now all I have to do is walk on this treadmill and we can make Max walk wherever we want. Great work, Sybil. That's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hmm? What was that? I didn't say that out loud. Consecrated Kreskin on a communion wafer. She's reading my mind. I'm not reading your mind, Sam. The brain must be broadcasting your thoughts or something. Just ignore it so we can get to work. Come tell me when you're ready to start moving. I knew Max's immune system was tough, but I never knew it was mixed martial arts tough. Max has really got to cut down on the carbs. I always suspected Max was using performance enhancers. 
Got any bright ideas, Fake Max? No time for talk, dog man. It's time to move, move, move. Gotta feel that burn so you can get a good night's sleep. Visible Max. Oh, that's convenient. There's a you are here marker. It's just hormones. Oh, maybe it is just hormones. I just wish there was somebody who understood what I'm going through. Fuel for the disgusting machine that is Max's body. The sparring dummy inside Max is in a lot better shape than the one on the outside. He has already ripped out the intestines, though. That's awful cute. Free weights? They're only free while supplies last. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Sleep! Medicine balls. Come on, Sam. You're inside Max's body. They're medicine balls. Think. Think. Nope, I got nothing. I could put in a few hours on this thing, no problem. Starting next month, at the latest. I'm just too busy with work right now. Don't worry about it, Sam. I've got it all under control. Just give me the signal and we're good to go. Hiya, Sybil. Oh my god, she's huge. What was that? Oh, I didn't say anything. What is she carrying? A baby or a yak calf? Excuse me? Are you calling me fat? Fat doesn't cover it. Come to think of it, a circus tent wouldn't cover it. I'll have you know that I am carrying the miracle of life, the promise of a new generation, and the affirmation of hope. What's your excuse? Why don't you hop on that treadmill? Oh, so you're not even trying to be subtle with the fat comments anymore. Come on, Sybil. It's going to take all of us working together to save Max. And by the looks of it, you could be doing the work of five or six of us at least. Ugh! You just don't understand what I'm going through, bringing new life into the world. Well, getting her to help is turning out to be at least as painful as giving birth. I think what you're doing is a really wonderful, beautiful thing, Sybil. As long as I don't have to see your mutant human statue offspring. It's very noble of you to bring a new life into the world and usher it to greatness. Or at least usher it into a dark basement or a carnival freak show to live out its freakish existence unseen by normal people. I'm not helping, am I? Nope. It's not my fault, Sybil. The brain is broadcasting my thoughts. Maybe it's better this way, now that I know what you really think. No, no, it's twisting my thoughts. I think you're just as lovely as the day I met you. Don't think fat. Don't think fat. <laughs> Can't you see what's happening, Sybil? The brain is trying to turn us against each other. Maybe you're right, Sam. We should work together. But not too close together, because a gravitational pull could flatten me like a pancake. <laughs> Come on, Sybil, use the treadmill, for Max's sake. For Max's sake? How convenient. It has nothing to do with my losing weight. Well, a few dozen pounds couldn't hurt. Ugh, men. You just don't understand what I'm going through. After all the great work you've done rewiring the treadmill, you should be the one to operate it. Well... I hope she doesn't break it. Never mind. I've changed, Sybil. I totally get the whole parenthood thing now. You do? Tax deductions. Nice. I don't think you understand at all. Uh, see you around, Sybil. Maybe I can find something to make her less hysterical. Ugh! Can you believe this guy? I find the entire situation to be very contrived and misogynistic. Finally seeing it in person. This must be where Max keeps his junk. Nah, that's a couple of stories down. There's got to be something in here to take my mind off Sybil's condition.
Ever since he became president, Max has had to carry his birth certificate and all his dental records with him at all times. To prove he was born in America? To prove that he was actually born. It's the Freelance Police Handbook for Racial and Cultural Sensitivity. The commissioner gave it to us because he said we keep reducing people to obvious stereotypes. Yeah, you know how those British Columbians are. Yeah, but the commissioner's one of the good ones. It's Max's gigantic money-filled sock. <laughs> I thought he was lying about that. You're just too cynical. That's the kind of change I can believe in. Hey, it's a big nest of spare audio video cables. These are just what I need for... Well, that's about the worst thing that could have happened. Is that our old roach farm? No way! I'd forgotten all about that. And it looks like it is. One of the eggs is about to hatch. It, it's beautiful. Huh? Papa? <laughs> now I am, little champion. Now I am. Is it heartwarming or creepy that Max keeps a shrine to his dead great-grandfather inside his own body? I knew it! Max has been trying to poison me! Luckily, I've been eating enough fudgy freezes to build up a chocolate immunity. Ah, oh, I remember that old bucket of fish. Ah, things were so much simpler back then. Really? Because I remember them being a lot more complicated. Well, it was a different kind of complexity. And a lot longer, too. Plus, the voices were... Okay, fake Max, we get it. That old game is from when we were going through our self-conscious, edgy, politically incorrect phase. Yeah, when did that stop, anyway? I'll let you know as soon as it does. Every time I think of that precious new life, I... Go on, play your game without me. <laughs> I need a moment. Baby shower balloons. Once I show these to Sybil, she'll definitely be... Max's brain is really starting to chap my hide. Hang on, Sam Jr. I'm coming for you! Oh, come on, Max's brain. I was just gonna look at him. Oh, come on, Max's brain. I was just gonna look at him. Our old souvenir from the Mafia Free Casino. I got to keep the tail end in my inventory. Max got me that set of mariachi frogs for my birthday. Yeah, yeah, that's a real exciting story. What are you waiting for, you Pulitzer? Curse my lack of suction! Oof. What's happening? Hang on! Help me! Whoops! Oh well, any cockroach foster son of mine is plenty resilient enough to survive a good vacuuming. Oh, come on, Max's brain. I was just gonna look at him. I'm always going around leaving junk scattered throughout the time stream, and Max is there to pick up after me. We make a good team. 
I've never actually seen Max buy a gun. I think his body just naturally secretes them when needed. Hey, I remember those cases with the thing and that other thing with the stuff. Yeah, don't sweat it, Sam. We don't remember any of that stuff either. What is that, a roach? Ugh, gross. Well, I never. Don't give it to me, Sam. Take it outside and kill it. Don't listen to her, Sam Jr. The mean lady is on heavy medication and doesn't know what she's talking about. Wait a second. You really do care about that roach, don't you? He's the promise of a future generation. Not that you'd ever understand. Think I underestimated you, Sam. You really do have the heart of a parent. And a real parent, not keeper of some half-statue freak show. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Let's get moving and save Max! Hallelujah, Sam Jr. Now that we've motivated our fellow Lifebringer, we can control Max's legs and haul his terrifying bulk across the length and or breadth of the city. campaign ever ah there you are Sam paperweight here believes he's found a way to control the creatures arms yes we are standing on a network of neurotransmitters and by forming biogenic connections between them we can relay electrical impulses from dendrites in the brain to muscle the tissue short version Poindexter I can step on these shapes to control the arms Great! Let's get to it so we can pick up huge stuff. You'll have to activate the manual override first. The impulses come through that machine over there. Are you going to be helpful or just keep trying to make us go to sleep? I can be helpful! Right after I tell you about my latest campaign. It's called Assault on Crypt Death Grasp, and it takes place in the expanded Twisted Plains universe. One of my buddies from down in the pancreas was playing as an 18th level rogue, and he'd chosen a starting... Snap trail. out of it, Sam! You must stay awake! Nah, I can't condone smoking for anyone. Don't smoke, kids. Unless you're on fire. Then it's only natural. Blue pistols, brass knuckles, black bombs, green bullets, orange flails, and pink bacon slices. All part of a nutritious breakfast. Maybe I should get on the board and you guys read off the instructions. Well, I do have something of it at back. Nonsense. Paperweight's going to need all of my tentacles and various other appendages to have any hope of finishing this game. Hmm, billiards. That's it? You're looking at a pool table inside Max's body and you're not going to make any of the obvious jokes? Sorry, I already used up my quota for the year on our first case. It's a bunch of whimsically outdated board games. Pan Galactic Despotic Dominion, the extended edition. Oh, that's an epic game of interstellar conquest with 7,000 highly detailed paintable miniatures. A single game can last your adolescence. What are the rules? 
Oh, it's simple. First, you assign a color to every player. Then you shuffle the draw deck and the discard deck, dealing eight cards counterclockwise, starting with the player who most recently had his wisdom teeth removed. Then you choose a technical proficiency. Sounds like ten barrels of fire. Sam, stay awake! Don't be fooled by his fiendishly boring schemes. The TV reception's much better down in the intestines because Max spends so much time laying cable. Max's kidneys kept trying to get rid of that sign, but finally let him keep it as long as it wasn't in the living room. A dartboard? Just in appearance, Sam. It's actually the center of the creature's hand-eye coordination. Well, that explains it. Max's depth perception has been off ever since he lost an eye in that whole laser tag misunderstanding. Max has got some nerve. Ooh, I wanna play! Wait your turn, fake Max. It's time to watch a master at work. Huh, this is pretty much the worst video game I've ever played. You have to read the command off the screen, Sam. I cannot see it from here. Left leg brass knuckles. Let me know if you need extra appendages, Paperweight. I have tentacles to spare. I guess the brain has stopped trying to work against us. I was concerned since we're so close to the speech center. This is going to be easy. Left foot flail. Wait a second. I didn't say that. Got it! Are you sure that was right? Perhaps you should try again. This is going really well. Keep listening to what I say. Foot bacon. We'll do. Are you reading that correctly? The brain definitely isn't using psychic ventriloquism against me, that's for sure. Please, let's continue. Left hand bomb. Maybe I should read the commands, yes? Show some sensitivity, Paperweight. He's colorblind. Besides, it'll take both of our bodies to complete this confounded game. Right foot bullet. Is everything okay, Sam? Everything is perfectly fine. Let's keep on doing exactly what we're doing. Left leg howitzer missile. Oh, come on. That's not even a choice in the game. Wait a second. I didn't say that. Got it. Are you sure that was right? Perhaps you should try again. This is going really well. Keep listening to what I say. Left leg brass knuckles. We'll do! Are you reading that correctly? The brain definitely isn't using psychic ventriloquism against me.
right foot bullet. If you say so. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. No, it's my turn now. We'll need to complete two more circuits to activate the manual override. Right hand flail. Got it! This is just like the final boss battle against Agamemnon in Ultra Shining Quest 2, where you have to use your holy katana three times against his exposed other sack to complete the ritual of quickening and- Don't listen to him, Sam. Stay awake and stay the course. Left foot bacon. Almost there! Smashing job, Sam! Right hand brass knuckles. Roger that! What have you done, Sam? The arms! They are spasming out of control! I've been hit. This wasn't supposed to happen. Error. I'm so caught up in you. Error. Oh no! The radioactive brain core is exposed! Your head will collapse, and there's nothing in it. And you'll ask yourself, who let the dogs out? Yes! A dentist chasing you with a hatchet, being loaded into the car for a trip to the vet! Oh, delicious! Sam! You must wake up! What... what happened? I must protest! I was savoring a most delectable nightmare. The radiation is too dangerous for you, Sam. You pass it out. Evidently, Paperweight and I are immune. Looks like you're stuck with me for another hundred years, eh, Paperweight? <laughs> yes, my master. We'll go back and resume our studies, but you must find someone else to operate those arm controls. Oh no, Sam Jr. Are you okay, little guy? Roach, we can survive anything. So much attitude. Must be hitting his teen years. Who do I know who's immune to radiation? Seems like only yesterday I watched him hatch, which is odd considering it was only a few hours ago. I love Sam Jr. like a daughter. Hey! But I'll admit he's an acquired taste. Corn dogs! Corn do Wait! Madre de Dios! La cucaracha! We must gather delicious cockroaches for the host! Sam, I'm picking up an unusual spike in brainwave activity from Max. Are you trying to take control of him? We've got everything under control, Mama Bosco. Rescue team, assume giant Max form go. Motor skills to full power. Neurons and stuff aligned for transphasal plasmic shift or something. Release exhaust. Activate feet and legs. Manual override active. Go! Activate hands and arms. Uh, Sam, you have not unlocked the arms yet. All oh, right. We can still walk around and stuff, though, right? We suppose, if you don't mind shambling through the city, pointlessly smashing everything in sight. Can't think of a good reason not to.
I wonder how Mama Bosco and Super Ball are doing. I should take Max back to the labs to check in. Uh, I don't know about this, Stinky. Feels like we got in way over our head. Don't tell me you're getting cold tarsal pads now, baby. Not when we're so close to having everything we ever wanted. Yeah, that's another thing. It was kind of exciting for the first couple of decades, but I don't think... What's that? It sounds like something's... coming. Yeah, so anyways, like I was saying... Never fear, my queen. I've got you now. <laughs> Sam, my biosensors are detecting a drop-off in transmotor electrical impulses to the lower quadrant. I'll skip it. Do you want to keep controlling Max or not? I'm done here. I want to go back. Hiya, Sam. So this is what hell looks like. Well, kinda, now that you mention it. But we're not in hell. Really? Because I'd done some real bad things. I figured that monster had finally punched my ticket. No, we're just in Max's stomach. If you want to make up for all the bad things you've done, you can help us save the city. I'll do anything. Well, almost anything. Maybe I'd better hear what it is first. Okay, use that video game machine up in the arm controls and read the commands off to Masur Paperweight. The brain's going to try to ventriloquize you to say the wrong thing, so... So I just say the complete opposite, right? Any dope could figure that out. Well, not any dope. I think you'd have to be pretty clever to figure that out. Brilliant, Sam! This roach is pure dynamite! He solved the manual override even faster than you did! Yeah, well, I did it first. There you go, Sam. I took care of those arms like you wanted. <coughs> I'll just get over to Battery Park and you can... Sal, are you okay, buddy? Looks like this is the end of my ride after all. Hey, Sam? But I thought roaches were immune to radiation. Nah, that's just a... <coughs> urban legend. But I figured that if a bunch of people need something, then that kind of weighs more than just one newly single deadbeat cockroach, you know? That's beautiful, Sal. I'll uh, edit it down a little before it goes into your biography. Now get over to that power plant and save the... <laughs> get over to that power plant and save the what, Sal? What? We need to know! Sam, it looks like you're writing a letter. Would you like help? What? I mean, it looks like you're trying to control Max. Is that right? We're going in. All right, team. We've only got a few hours left to save Max. Let's do this. We have the full control of the arms. Go! Then we're off to Battery Park. Activate feet and legs. Still active. Go! Activate hands and arms. Max rescue team, go! I've never liked this building.
It's moving too fast for Max to grab. Just as well, since I don't know what he'd do with it once he caught it anyway. Team, we're going in. Strutting sequence engaged. Let's do this with some style, people. Beginning the electrocution sequence. <laughs> it's for your own good, not so little, buddy. <laughs> Did it work? Only one way to find out. That jolt should have been enough to short out Max's psychic powers. I'm going in. Uh-uh. Not so fast, my friends. Have you solved the mystery? I'll give you one more moment to check your work. Well, the clues to our villain's identity have been laid before you since the moment our story began. Have you figured it out yet? Is it Monsieur Papuwait and his hideous counterpart, Dr. Norrington, refugees from a dimension of pure evil? Or General Skunkarpe, driven mad by his insatiable lust for the toys of power? Civil Pandemic with her... Do you mind? I'm trying to... Oh, now you've just ruined it. Uh, sorry, but what are you doing inside Max's brain? Inside Max's brain? <laughs> My dear Sam, I am Max's brain. Max's brain is a monochromatic fey British gentleman? Not the entire brain, perhaps. Just the part that matters. I believe that Freud called it the superego, but I'd hate to sound boastful. I didn't think Max had a superego. Yes, well, you're fat. It would seem that neither of us get the respect or attention we deserve. Well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Forgive me, I'm lashing out. But you, of all people, should be able to understand my frustration after years of being partnered with a creature driven by pure id. I always tried to encourage his appreciation of the finer things. Literature, theater, beatboxing. I was always ignored. So you were the one using those psychic powers against me? An unavoidable but entertaining necessity, I'm afraid. We couldn't have you wandering around Max's mind until the build-up of psychic energy had reached the tipping point, now could we? Um, maybe? It was a rhetorical question. Are you the cause of Max's psychic powers? No. The gift was within Max from the beginning. A gift of incalculable power. It was just shape-shifting and some teleportation. Pretty common stuff, really. In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power of the mind. And how did Max use that power? To explore the mysteries of the infinite? No, to put the smack down on a host of petty criminals. Such a disappointment. A disappointment that will have to be corrected. It sounds like you're just rationalizing away every evil decision you make just to convince yourself it's right. Uh, yeah, superego, that's pretty much what I do. You're lying! Oh, very well. I suppose you've forced me to come clean. Sam. I am actually an agent of a much higher power, appearing only to you and Max to guide you in times of crisis. I believe you mortals would refer to me as an angel. Wait, really? Of course not. That would be stupid. 
I am the manifestation of the superego of a psychic rabbit detective mutated into a gigantic beast by a toy box filled with powerful toys from another dimension. Sometimes the simplest answer is the correct one. So what's your plan, Brain? To take over the world? Because this world's not going down without a fight. Take over the world? Why would I want to do that? To prolong my suffering with an endless parade of armpit farts and locker room giggles? No, Sam. I want nothing more than to let it all end. And a psychic explosion that takes out most of the northeastern United States seems a particularly spectacular way to go. So you're going to destroy the city just because you're upset Max isn't more highbrow? Sam, Sam. They say that idle hands are the devil's playthings, but there is something far, far worse. An idle mind is the devil's playhouse, a stage for the most vapid, horrible, and destructive stories to be made real. Deep. And curiously insulting. Didn't think I'd be able to work the title in, did you? Okay, here's how it's going to go down. I'm going to turn off the power, Sybil and Norrington are going to cut out that tumor, and then you're going to help us get Max back to normal. Sam, I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Max's power has reached critical levels, and it's only a matter of time until his brain catches fire and explodes, taking most of the eastern United States with it. Then we'll use his psychic powers. But how? The toys were all destroyed. All that is left is Max's memories of them. Most of which were destroyed by a sudden jolt of electricity. Oh dear, did you do that? How ironic. You said most of the powers were destroyed? Well, there's the astral projector for all the good that will do you. Super Ego. Well, I don't like to brag, but I am pretty rad. Good build. Imaginary mahogany. This must be that medulla oblongata everybody's been talking about. That ought to do it. Now Sybil and Norrington can get started on that brain surgery. Looks like a scrapbook. Precious memories. Aw, oh, that's awful cute. Giant Max is even more empty-headed than the regular version. Astral projection requires there to be a suitable host body on the other end. You can only project into a version of yourself. Like my great-grandfather? Exactly. Or one of the me clones. But all of the clones were quarantined to the reservations on Staten Island. Oh, there are still a few strays here and there. We can't control Max now. Everybody's waiting for me outside. It's that astral projection toy we found in our basement. No, please. You mustn't use Max's psychic powers. It will only speed up our destruction. Just try and stop me. Um, after you explain to me how it works. Max in his current form is a bit more simple than he used to be. The projector will only take slides now. That didn't work. There must not be any clones of me there. Good job, Sam. Just a few quick slices, and then we can get both of these mothers out of Max's brain. Wait! Now what's the problem? It appears that Max's tumor has become infected with dark matter. But you can make it better, right?
I need Max to wobble by my side as we crash land into the mysteries of the universe and chortle merrily at reality's deepest secrets. No earthly tools can remove dark matter. Believe me, I've tried. Hmm, destroy dark matter. I know, that toy robot I found. But I thought you guys said that all those psychic toys were destroyed. Destroyed? Nonsense. I can still sense the blasted thing. Somewhere in the city. Someone must have retrieved the toy from the Statue of Liberty and reassembled it. And I think I know exactly who. Our old favorite psychic toy collector, Harry Moleman. You mean General Skunkape, right? Oh yeah, Skunkape. He probably has the robot, doesn't he? I should go find him. Uh, to get the robot. Skunkape. Yeah. How are we going to remove that tumor, Dr. Norrington? That infernal robot, the Chthonic Destroyer. I can feel the warmth of his presence. Are we ready to operate? Not until you can find something that can get rid of that dark matter that Dr. Norrington was talking about. Sam, Max is acting crazy again. Are you trying to control him? Roger that, Mama Bosco. Let's go out on the town and make some new memories for your short-term memory book, Max. <laughs> Think, Max. Remember back when we were trapped on board Skunk Ape spaceship? Remember Mama Bosco's lab, don't you, Max? That astral projector is the only way I'm going to be able to get on board Skunk Ape spaceship. Remember this block, Max? It's where we got our first citation for excessive property damage. Sam, you appear to be trying to run a program you downloaded off the internet. Did you mean to do that, or would you like to keep controlling Max? I need some me time for a while. better hope a clone ended up on Skunk Ape ship somehow. Here goes nothing. Wh where am I? Oh, I'm nuts. General Skunk Ape must have taken a few of the Doggle Gangers, I mean Samuel Acra, as souvenirs. No sign of anybody at the controls. He must be in the little space gorilla's room. Now's my chance. Looks like I'm gonna need the help of those not me's to get out of here. Green? I always assumed my soul aura would be more maroon. This tree is made of space fiberglass, but that didn't stop Harry Molman from gnawing on it, apparently. He's a fighter, that one. Faded colors, fraying edges. I remember when quality meant something in a spaceship. What? Uh, it was like that when I got here, honest. That's the rock Harry was lying on when he was trapped in here. It's all covered in mole sweat and too slippery to pick up. There's got to be some other way to move it. Hey, no fair. How come he gets the hamster wheel?
Is that what I look like? Well, they say the cloning process adds 10 pounds. Hmm, these wires are running from the other cages. I wonder what they do. Nothing yet. My third eye is feeling a little itchy and watery. I wonder if I should switch to a different, fresher clone body. Trapped, a prisoner of my own DNA. Gattaca, Gattaca. Hey, no fair. Help. These puzzles are making me thirsty. Well, that washed off the door to that fuse box, all right. Hmm, it still smells like Max. Of course, Max has an aroma that never ever quite goes away. Funny, I didn't notice this fuse box when Max and I were stuck in here before. The exposed delicate electrical wiring of Skunk Ape Spaceship. and stabilization controls. Clone HW021S. Commence backup stabilization immediately. Uh-oh, sounds like that's my cue. Emergency stabilization in effect. Yo! I hope this is worth it. Ha ha! I've escaped your little jail, skunk ape, with nothing more than my wits and some gold lame shorts. Now just hand over that... robot? Skunk ape? Where'd everybody go? There's no sign of skunk ape or stinky either. allowed out of their cages. Hmm, number of max saving toy robots on this spaceship? Zero. Well, you don't look like our pal, the alien. Wait a second. I recognize that brain. Clones aren't supposed to talk. Wait a second. I recognize that clone. You're Sam and Mark. You're Max! No, wait, Sam. Which one is the dog again? What is what's left of you doing here? If you must know, I'm controlling this ship with my mind until I can find a replacement body. And then I will once again rule the Earth, as is my divine right! So, did Skunk Ape leave a forwarding address or any contact information? Ha! Outwitted again, dog! Skunk Ape knew you'd be searching for him, and that's why he refused to tell me! Clever. All this time I thought you were just his brain slave, when you're practically his second-in-command. Of course! 
and to keep up the disguise. That's why he keeps refusing to clean out my tank. Just tell me where Skunk Ape is, and I promise I'll set you free to run around and play with other disembodied brains or something. Hmm. I suppose you will be needing a new psychic-powered partner, seeing as how your current one is about to be destroyed. That's it. I take it back. Tell me where Skunk Ape is, and I won't dropkick you into the Hudson. Huh. Barbarians! All of you future creatures! I'll never tell! So somebody found a use for your brain after all. Don't be jealous, dog. Someone will find a use for your brain someday. Burn! I wouldn't be so cocky. Don't you know what happens to the gifted brains that Skunk Ape uses to control his ship? You question the power of the great Samunak? I will bide my time with General Skunkape for as long as it serves my purposes. And when the time is right, I will strike like a cobra. Or at least the brain of a cobra. And how are you planning to take over exactly? You don't have any weapons. Weapons? The mighty Salmon Mac has no need for weapons. So Skunk Ape hooked your brain into the controls of this ship and then just left you here? I wasn't left here! General Skunkape turned command over to me to continue the assault on the giant Max creature. And to be frank, it is a role I relish, considering my beef with him after his insolence. Now serving one beef rank on a roll with relish. Belay that order! It sounds like you're not quite in control of the spaceship yet, pal. I can control this vessel with just the smallest thought. Even while speaking to you, I am targeting your partner for a full assault with my... Uh, what's the word? Doors. Now cut that out! Keep up with the flying, Salmon Mac. I hate to think what would happen if this spaceship suddenly lost power. I'm not listening to you! I'm looking for a toy robot. About yay big, goes by the name of Troy, gives its destruction to everyone. And why on earth should I help you? Because you're a brain in a jar and I know how to boil things? Very well. It's nowhere on this starship, I promise you. If the robot isn't on this spaceship, that means Skunk Ape took it with him. Oh, clever! No wonder you're a detective. I've got to find that toy. I've got to find that toy. Toy sensors activated. Stop that at once! I'm trying to concentrate. Toy sensors deactivated. Now, I've been meaning to ask you, what's your problem with the Mole Men anyway? Ugh, disgusting, pitiful creatures. All of them. They weren't so pitiful that they couldn't overthrow you twice. Nonsense! They caught me off guard is all, and I hadn't stretched first. And the Sun God Roll was in my eyes. So when you first found the Devil's Toy Box and became Pharaoh, the Mole Man overthrew you. That doesn't mean anything. And then when you got the ultimate power again to change reality itself, they managed to overthrow you again. Just you wait. Once I have taken my throne again, I will imprison all of those filthy Mole Men. And then wipe them out of existence! Now that I think about Mole Men, I know lots of Mole Men. There's Harry Mole Men, Shavul, who was a Mole Man, his nephew Doug the Mole Man, Warren Burroughs, Prime Minister of the Mole People, Patton Oswalt... Stop that! Stop that immediately! Mole Man. Cut it out! Mole Men, Mole Men, Mole Man. For the last time, stop it! Rabbit season. I said stop! Wait, weren't you supposed to say Mole Men? Damn it! General Skunkape, is it time? Grandpa Stinky! What? Oh yes, Earth Dog. I am indeed the elderly stinky human. Did you notice if Skunk Ape was holding a toy robot that can destroy stuff from the Dark Dimension? I've got no idea what you're talking about. I've never even heard of the Catonic Destroyer. 
Yeah, except that would be a good name for it. Probably. If it existed. Or if I knew what it was. What was the question again? How did you get trapped in the mold processing room? Did Skunk Ape take you prisoner? Uh, no. Everything is fine. I thought this door led to the waste processing chamber. This is important, Grandpa Stinky. Did Skunk Ape mention where he was going? Aye, but the General has guaranteed that you Earth creatures will never find him before the domination of... Uh, I mean, he did not. I am a cantankerous human. Pah. Are you all right, Grandpa Stinky? You seem different. I assure you, I am quite well. And I am in fact your associate, Grandpa Stinky. Well, okay then. Thank you for asking, though. Wait a second. Grandpa Stinky would never be that polite. You might as well admit it, you know. The freelance police are powerless to stop us anyway. Very well. Enough with the charade. I am actually the mighty Grey Pipe, mightiest of General Skonkape's warriors. Fess up, pal. Where's that anti-dark matter toy robot hidden? Don't make me laugh, Earthling. After General Skonkape so painstakingly reassembled the pieces of the Destroyer robot, he'd never be foolish enough to let it out of his sight. Why don't you reveal the entire plan to the enemy, Grapipe? Oh, right. Um, uh, let's start over again. You must have really made Skunk Ape angry for him to lock you in the mole room. Nonsense. I am the linchpin in his plan for galactic domination. He secured me in the mole sweating room for the good of the Skunkapi Empire. Uh, speaking of sweat, you really should secure yourself in the showers for the good of everyone else. There was a mix-up with the heat controls. So, are you wearing a Grandpa Stinky suit or something? Ha! Ah, the true explanation of my current appearance is so mind-bogglingly horrifying, your mind would never be able to comprehend. You switch brains? Well, yes. And there's nothing you can do about it. Fair enough. All right, Mac. Where's Skunk Ape now? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you could possibly do to make me talk, naked earth dog. Well, I hate to have to do this, but it's for Max's sake. And I'm dressed for it anyway. Prepare yourself for my hypnotic dance of the third degree. All right, I'll talk. Just make it stop. He's at a warehouse in the southeast end of the featureless warehouse district. Hmm, I wonder if that has anything to do with Mama Bosco's cloning chamber. It's the Hotep Not Clone Related Industries Building, 2348 Double Street at Gang Avenue, 212-555-2314. Okay, okay, I got it. Don't go anywhere. I may have more questions for you later. You'd better hurry. Your time's running out. <laughs> Maybe some clone stragglers are still hanging around Mama Bosco's lab. What a stroke of luck! There is a clone hanging around the lab. And the poor guy's injured. This must be one of the clones Max was gnawing on last week. It's just as well, since there's not much for me to do around here anyway. You'd think with this many screens, there'd be one that could tell me where that toy robot is. Mama Bosco, can you? Not now, clone. I'm busy here. Hey, President Super Bowl. It's me, Sam. Oh, great. I'm so racked with guilt, but now I'm hearing things. 
You're not hearing things. I'm astrally projecting into a clone body after talking to Max's superego inside his brain. Keep it together, Superball. Sam will be able to save the day. He always does. No sign of the toy robot on the crime alert. This destabilizer could be exactly what I need to get that toy robot, if not for one thing. It's not really that useful for anything. I can't squeeze through there with this cone on and there's no way to get it off. Not much point in coming here in retrospect. Should I head back? Sam, I'm picking up an unusual spot. We've got everything under control, Mama Bosco. Rescue team, assume giant max form go. Off the top, Max. Concentrate, Max. Remember all the wacky hijinks we had in that cloning chamber. Keep me updated, Sam. Are you going to keep controlling, Max? I'm done here. I want to go back. I think it's time Skunk Ape discussed this toy robot business, face to reasonable facsimile of my face. Yes! Yes! I'm so glad to see you're getting along with my unstoppable army of minions. Flint, Eber, play all you want. We'll make more. <laughs> Keep laughing, Simeon. Having a sunny personality will make the time go by faster in Sing Sing. <laughs> Eber? It's a prison. Ah, uh, no Earth prison can hold me with my unstoppable army. My newly reformed queen at my side, and the power trapped in this ancient toy robot. Our plan cannot fail. <laughs> you just forgot one thing, the self-destruct sequence. <laughs> this cloning chamber doesn't have a self-destruct sequence. Maybe not, but he does. Unstable antimatter device detected. Initiating containment protocols. Yeah, you can override the bomb. Yes, my queen? I'm doing it, darling. It's a big box, packed with evidence, no doubt. That's from all of Stinky and Sal's failed attempts to knock off Grandpa, before they hit on the magic recipe idea. The roach would dump the evidence off at the docks, then the mermaid would swim it down the Hudson Wait, wait, wait. Stinky's a mermaid? Seriously, Sam? Try to keep up. Yow! Now, come on. Who would put an invisible laser grid here? That stinky daemon or cockroach accomplice set that up to keep anybody from stumbling onto their magic show. They can't be wandering through mole tunnels now, when there's so little time left to save Max. They can't be one. Yowch! Setting up a laser grid no- I can talk. Looks like some kind of- Fog machine? Good eye, Sam. Near as I can make out, Sal turned that on to cover up Stinky's little disappearing act.
Good thing I've been practicing my yoga during this whole crisis. Hey, I recognize that. That's the cake of the damned. The evil recipe that Grandpa Stinky magically turned into Girl Stinky. Or so that poor sap Grandpa Stinky was supposed to think. Hmm, I'll just call this Exhibit A. It's a big hunk of rock. Left over from all the secret tunnels those lovebirds were having the mole people dig to pull off their scheme. She'd do anything to get rid of all that granite. I heard she was even selling it in sandwiches. If only I had more time, I could make it so these minions had cool handlebar mustaches and a natural talent with a sousaphone. It's an old video projector. It was set up inside the diner, Sam. Turn it on at the right time. Cover it up with enough fog and you can make it look like anything had just appeared out of thin air. I think this body might have needed a few more minutes in the clone tank. I'm still feeling a little doughy. I can't do anything with these. Stinky must have put the cloning controls on lockdown. Ah, uh, that was my fault, Sam. I was just trying to keep the clock from flashing 12, and the whole thing went haywire! Hmm, do I go back? I'll stay here. Uh, hiya, Flint. Hey, Sam. Didn't recognize you without the suit. This is some crazy case, huh? Yeah, about this antimatter bomb. Oh, don't sweat it, pal. Once I finish off these hairy mugs, I'll round up those two saps and put a damper on that firecracker. Easy as portfolio diversification. This plan of yours will never work, whatever it is. I land on a planet with a box full of the most inconceivably powerful objects in the universe, and I end up here with only one toy robot about to be blown up. Ah, uh, if only I hadn't disintegrated my life, coach. Can't you see Stinky's just using you, like she did Sal? Is that clone trying to talk to you? Ignore it, my queen. I have to ask you a question about this plan of yours. Um, what is it again? Ugh, it's so simple. Grandpa Stinky. Nothing can kill him, right? We've tried everything. Okay, but... Flint Paper can kill anything, but he'd never go after Grandpa willingly. Ah, uh, yes. Yes! I see. Except, no, not really. Stinky's playing you for a chomp, champ! So, the detective will be tricked into murdering the Elder Stinky? Because we put his brain into one of the minions' bodies and then cloned millions of copies, so he'll never know which is which. Ah, it's genius in its simplicity. Hey, Skunk Ape! Hand over that robot and nobody gets hurt! Hmm, that clone. It's almost as if he were sentient. Well, no matter. The last surviving artifact of yogg Sogoth in the entire universe, and it's mine! This will be essential to my plans. As soon as I find out what it does, and what the plan is exactly, I've been meaning to ask, my queen. I'm busy here. So, about the toy robot I was asking for? All these years, I've been thinking too small. With this toy robot, I can not only conquer this universe, but entire dimensions. <laughs> so I guess that means you won't let me borrow it for a few minutes? My clone ID tags. Useful, because I can't even tell us apart. This toothbrush is part of every clone starter kit, I'm guessing. 
Looks like this clone had orders to pick up the devil's toy box. It's a photo of Grandpa Stinky's evil recipe that he allegedly used to create Girl Stinky. Sim, Sim, Salabim. What? The devil's toy box? How can this be? The devil's toy box? They said the toy box had been destroyed. Yeah, well, they say a lot of things. Talking clone? Oh, now I see. You have come to make things difficult for me again. Yes, Sam? Hand over that toy robot, and I'll think about turning the toy box over to you. <laughs> You're hardly in a position to make demands, Sam. Why should I turn over this toy instead of simply taking what I want? Because if you don't, I'll blow up the toy box once and for all. Yeah, you wouldn't dare. The explosion would destroy you along with half the city. I'd destroy half of any city to save my best pal. Besides, I'm using a loner body. You're serious? I'm just crazy enough to do it. No, here. Yeah. Take the robot. Just keep that bomb away from the toy box. There. Antimatter bomb disabled. Containment protocols canceled. What is he doing? Now I'd better get this robot into Max's brain before Skunk Ape realizes he's been flamboozled. It's a big hunk of rock. Left over from all the secret tunnels those lovebirds were having the mole people dig to pull off their scheme. You got everything under control here, Flint? Ah, uh, this is as easy as picking lice from a hobo's. You hear that? Again with the hobo's. What's his problem? Don't kill that one, Flint. That's Grandpa Stinky. No problem, Sam. Sam to rescue team. Sam to rescue team. Robot acquired. Eat me. Over. Roger that. It's that toy robot that sends stuff back to the dark dimension. And it's the only way to save my formerly little buddy. Skunk Ape put this thing back together himself, so I hope it still works. Once we blast away that dark matter, we should have enough time to remove the... Uh-oh. I think my water just broke. Pennies? Sam, we've got to get out of here. Now! But Max is... There is no way I'm having this baby inside a horrible monster! That horrible monster is my best friend, and we're running out of time to save him. What do we do? Save Sybil. 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 My friends, the most wondrous thing has happened. It hasn't happened yet, and it's not going to unless we move. What? Oh, yes, the baby. Whatever. No, my friends, the wondrous thing is that Max has actually committed a selfless act. Ah, uh, who's this guy? 
He's the personification of Max's superego. Ah, makes sense. That means he's more than just pure id. He's capable of self-sacrifice. I've made a terrible mistake. Max is worth saving after all. Told you so. Go. Save Sybil. I will stay here and remove this wretched tumor. But how do we get out of here in time? Huh? No doubt there's something in here you've overlooked. Are you sure you're qualified to remove Max's tumor? Sam, I narrated the entire series of brain surgery for brain deficiency on VHS. Of course I know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, uh, breathe, breathe, Sybil. Do you need any water? Or hot towels? Or a complimentary mint? I need for you to get me out of this monster! Any ideas how we can get out of here? None that aren't unspeakably unsanitary, I'm afraid. Amazing! I'm hearing what Max hears right down to the irritating subsonic frequencies audible only to lagomorphs and professional bagpipers. It's Max's collection of ideas for novels, in audiobook on vinyl form. It's Max's heartfelt Inuit coming-of-age story. Are you there, Great Bear Spirit? It's me, Knutchlock. It's Max's heartfelt Inuit... Knutschluck wiped the last remaining ichor and blubber from his carving knife, then sat down on the one patch of ice not covered by walrus intestines. Why so sad? asked Paco, his faithful deer tick companion. It was a clean kill. I know, sobbed Knutschluck, but there was no one here to see it. Why does Max have tear ducts? I can't remember the last time I saw him cry. Well, except when he was trying to lull his prey into a false sense of security. All right, everybody, let's load up and make a quick getaway. Good luck, Max's super ego. We're all counting on you. Don't worry, Sam. I'll have Max back to his normal, impetuous, wonderful self in five minutes. Just go and hurry. You have to get out now. The main trons will impact in four minutes. Uh, why aren't we moving? Wait a second. This isn't the tear dot. <laughs> Well, that was thoroughly unpleasant. Gesundheit! Let's get you to the hospital, Mrs. Pandemic Lincoln. Ugh, that's Lincoln Pandemic? But you keep it down? Our head is killing us! Quick, Giant Max, get out of there! The last Mametron is headed your way! Save the city. But where did he go? I 
almost had everything, and then you had to start slobbering over a stupid piece of rock. For the last time, my queen, I will get you a diner on the next world we conquer. Just get me far away from... Didn't I tell you to get rid of that cell phone already? Who could possibly be calling me? Max? Realign the mitochondrial plasmoid transference sequence. Oh, who am I trying to kid? I'm making all this up as I go along. Anyway, I've adjusted the cloning tank, so we should be able to bring Max back as good as new. Great, Dr. Mama Bosco. Let's do it. I'll just need a sample of his DNA, one that's less than one week old. Don't worry, Grandpa Stinky. I'm sure Mama Bosco will find some way to get you back into your real body. Ah, uh, no rush. I could get used to this one. I just wish I hadn't left my keys in the other body's pants. Do you have any of Max's DNA, Flint? Sorry, Sam. You know I go to the spa and get a good exfoliating scrub and full delousing whenever I hang out with you guys. I'm gonna miss the little guy. He was a real borderline psychotic hero. Max is always climbing on top of me and beating me up. I've got to be crawling with his DNA, right, Mama Bosco? I don't doubt it, Sam, but it's got to be fresh to work with my machines. Didn't you pick up anything that whole time you were inside his body? This machine is the only thing that can bring Max back. I've got to have some of his DNA somewhere. Oh, Max's snot got all over my inventory. And lots of other unmentionable personal areas. Try this, Mama Bosco. It should be crawling with Max DNA. God knows what else. Perfect. This should only take a few minutes. That should do it. Welcome back, little buddy. What happened? It looks like Max's DNA is just too weird for my machines to be able to reproduce. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Sam. Ah, tough break, Samo. At least he went out saving the universe. As president, I'd just like to offer my... I can't do this now. I just can't. <laughs> Super Bowl, come back!
Oh, hi, Sam. Holy beer-battered princes of Maine and kings of New England in a glass-bottom boat with a trip-hop DJ and the second runner-up in the Miss Teen Oklahoma pageant. It's past Max in a time-traveling elevator. What's shaking? Max, I thought you were... Wait a second, where's the past me? Oh, yeah, about that. We were on a case and you got turned into a giant monster with electromagnetic powers, so I kind of had to blow you up. It was horrible! So, wanna stop some crimes? Let's! Ooh, push all the buttons! I wanna scatter some dental retainers throughout the fossil record and see how long it takes anybody to notice. You crack me up, little buddy. 